Karibuni sana tena na niwashukuru kwa kutijoin katika kongamano hili ambalo kama nilivyosema ni kongamano la kipekee kabisa ambalo ni la kwanza na laina yake. Naomba pia nitoe pole kwa changamoto ambazo tumezipata duniani kote ambazo ni za COVID-19 na amini wote tunaendelea kujitunza, tunaendelea ku, ku, kufuata masharti ambayo yamewekwa na madaktari ambao ndio leo ndo wenye hili kongamano. Nianze kwa kufanya utambulisho. Uh, leo tuna main speaker wetu ambaye ni mkurugenzi mtendaji wa benki ya CRDB Abdul Majid Musa Nsekela. Okay. Asante mkurugenzi mtendaji wa benki ya CRDB. Tuna uh, afisa mkuu wa biashara wa benki ya CRDB Dr. Joseph Witz. Okay. Nashukuru sana Rasul. Asante sana. Karibu sana uh, Dr. Witz. Um, pia tuna two main panelists uh, ambao wao ndio watakuwa uh, wanasaidiana na mkurugenzi mtendaji katika kuendesha kongamano la kwetu la leo. Tunaye mkurugenzi wa wateja wadogo na wakati ndugu Boma Rabala. Asante sana na karibuni sana kwenye kongamano Pia tunaye mkurugenzi wa wateja wakubwa taasisi makampuni ambaye ni Prosper na Mbaya. Karibuni sana na napenda kuwa na nie leo kupata changamoto zenu ili tupende mbele pamoja. Asante. Baada ya kuatambua watu ambao leo watatuendeshea kongamano letu pia napenda kusema kwamba tunaye mgeni rasmi ambaye atakuja kutambulishwa rasmi na mkurugenzi wetu mtendaji wa benki ya CRDB ndugu Abdul Majid Musa Nsekela lakini pia kwa kuwa kongamano hili lina wadau na sisi tunaamini katika ushirikiano na kufanya kazi pamoja na wadau kwa niaba ya watu wote ambao leo wamejiunga nasi na wataalamu wetu anatuambia sasa hivi tumezidi tano ningependa kuwatambua wachache ambao ni Dr. Samuel Ogilo ambaye ni afisa mtendaji mkuu wa taasisi ya watoa huduma za afya binafsi. Napenda kumtambua ndugu Bernard Konga, mkurugenzi mkuu wa mfuko wa bima ya ta wa taifa. Brigadier General Dr. Gabriel Mhidize, mkurugenzi mkuu wa bohari ya dawa MSD. Dr. Elisha Osati, rais wa chama cha madaktari Tanzania. Dr. Ellen Mkondia, mkurugenzi wa taasisi ya Benjamin Mkapa, Kane Mbaya, mkurugenzi wa kampuni ya Bima ya Strategies, Brenda Msangi, mkurugenzi mtendaji wa CCBRT. Ninaamini na nimeona kwamba kuna viongozi wengi na madaktari wengi ambao wamejiunga leo, wote kwa pamoja tunapenda kutambua uwepo wenu na tunapenda sana kuwashukuru kwa kujiunga nasi naamini siku ya leo itakuwa ni siku nzuri siku ya furaha siku ambayo tutapeana feedback na tutajenga sio tu upande huu wa madaktari na upande wa benki ya CRDB lakini pia tutakuja na kitu kizuri ambacho kitawasaidia na kuwanufaisha watanzania wote baada ya kusema haya machache nitaomba nimkaribishe mkurugenzi mtendaji ndugu Abdul Majid Musa Nsekela ili aweze kumtambulisha na pia kumkaribisha mgeni wetu rasmi. Karibu ndugu Abdul Majid Musa Sekela. Asante sana, asante sana mshirikaji wetu. Kwanza kipekee kabisa nianze kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa mwingi wa rehema kwa kutupa nafasi hii. Lakini vile kutupa afya ya kuweza kufikia siku ya leo. Lakini vile ni tukue fursa hii kipekee sana. Nimshukuru sana waziri wa afya Mheshimiwa Umi Mwalimu kwa utayari wake na ushirikiano wetu wa karibu na kwa kipekee kabisa 
mgeni wetu wa heshima leo ni naibu waziri wa afya maeneo ya jamii jinsia wazee na watoto mheshimiwa dr godwin alois mole ni mkaribishe sana sana kwenye warsha hii lakini chukue fursa hii vile vile kumpongeza kipekee kwa uteuzi wa ya jukumu aliyokabidhiwa sisi kama wa Tanzania tunamwamini na tunajua kabisa anatupeleka mbele lakini kabla sijamkaribisha mgeni wetu rasmi na mimi nichukue fursa hii kwa mara nyingine tena kutambua watambua wachache lakini kwanza kabisa kuwashukuru wadau wote wa sekta afya ambao wamejumika nasi tumesikia kabisa kwamba sasa hivi tuko zaidi ya mia tano na wengine wanaendelea kujoin lakini chukue fursa ni mshukuru sana Dr. Samuel Ogilo ambaye ni mwenyekiti lakini mtendaji mkuu wa taasisi ya watu wa huduma ya afya binafsi na mshukuru sana sana kakaangu Bernard Konga mkurugenzi eh, mkuu wa mfuko wa bima ya taifa wa kujumika nasi na ni vile vile ni mshukuru sana Brigadier General Dr. Gabriel Mwindize mkurugenzi mkuu wa bodi ya madawa na nichukue fursa hii vile vile kumpongeza sana kwa uteuzi na kumwombea heri katika utendaji wake mpya lakini mimi naomba ni mshukuru sana Dr. Elisha Osati rais wa chama cha madaktari Tanzania kwa ushirikiano aliokuwa nao nasi lakini vile na kujumuika nasi na vile vile naomba ni mshukuru sana Kaim Kaim Mbaya mkurugenzi wa kampuni ya Dima ya Strategist kwa kujumuika nasi lakini vile vile ni mshukuru sana Dr. Ellen Nkondia mkurugenzi wa taasisi ya Benjamin William Kapa na vile vile naomba ni mshukuru sana dadangu Brenda Msangi mkurugenzi mkuu wa sisi BRT niwashukuru sana viongozi wa makampuni taasisi na mashirika mbalimbali ambao wamejumuika nasi katika warsha ya leo Mshamgeni rasmi najua unaungana nasi kutokea Dodoma na tunakushukuru sana kwa muda wako lakini warsha hii kwetu ni muhimu na ya kipekee ya kwanza kufanyika nchini ya benki yetu ya CDB ni mdao mkubwa ambao amekuwa karibu sana na sekta afya na tunatambua sana umuhimu wa sekta afya nchini. Na benki yetu imekuwa ikijikita sana katika sekta afya. Lakini leo hii tunakutana na wadau ambao wanaijenga sekta afya kwa kuipeleka mbele na kukuza uchumi na kuendeza afya za Tanzania. Sasa leo hii tumeandaa warsha muhimu ambao utaongea na wadau husika wa kuwapa yale ambayo sasa hivi imekuwa nayo. Lakini kujadii changamoto mbalimbali zinazokutana na sekta halisi na kuanga ni jitihada zipi tunaweza kuzitumia kwa pamoja kwa sababu tuna imani katika ushirikishi kuweza kutatua changamoto hizo na kujenga uchumi wa nchi lakini vile vile tutapata nafasi ya kuelezea ni jinsi gani benki yetu imejiandaa kushirikiana na wizara kushirikiana na taasisi zote ili kuhakikisha kwamba sekta afya inaboreshwa zaidi na vile vile tutaweza kushiriki kuongea kwa kirefu kuongea na mwenyekiti wa chama cha taasisi ya watu wa huduma binafsi ambao tumekuwa tunashiria nao vizuri nzi gani tunaweza kusaidiana kutoa suluhisho za kifedha lakini mifumo mbalimbali ili kujenga sekta ya afya kwa hiyo mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi leo hii pamoja na kwamba uko Dodoma utakuwa unaongea na Watanzania hadi sasa wamejiunga watu zaidi ya tano na idadi inaendelea kuongezeka kadri unavyokwenda kwa hiyo nichukue fursa hii kabisa kukaribisha rasmi ili uweze kuongea nasi na kutupa machache ulionayo ili wadau wayasikie lakini vile baada hapo utufungulie washa yetu. Karibu sana mheshimiwa, karibu sana kwenye washa yetu na karibu tufungulie. Sasa tunaelekea Dodoma ili tuweze uh, kumsikiliza mgeni wetu rasmi ambaye ni mheshimiwa uh, Morel ni mheshimiwa Dr. Morel Mbunge ambaye sasa hivi naye ataingia hewani kwa ajili ya kuongea na wanawasha na wanakongamano na sasa hivi yuko hewani tumkaribishe Dr. tuweze kumsikiliza karibu sana Dr. <coughs> asante sana asante sana asante sana e, kwanza e, nianze kwa 
kutambua baadhi ya viongozi ambao mko kwenye eneo ile ndugu yangu mkurugenzi wa Siara Jibin Sekela lakini Gogilo after Konga eh, Bima Brigadia Gabriel MSD lakini Dr. Sati Mat lakini vile vile Dr. Helen na wengine wote ambao mko pamoja na sisi ninafikiri kwa sababu ya ya ya, ya kokonda na sababu hatuwezi kustabili jinsi ambavyo mtandao unakwenda ili tuweze kuyafikia yale mengi ya msingi e, mniruhusu kidogo msiweze kufuata utaratibu mnizoeleka kwa sababu nasoma kwa dunia ni lakini kimsingi kwa sababu si anadini benki yetu na wakati wote e, tumekuwa tukishirikiana kwa namna mbalimbali kwa kweli najua mambo mengi ambayo si anadini imekuwa ikifanya lakini nianze kwa kuongeza si anadini kwa sababu walionyesha juhudi kubwa sana hasa mara ya kwanza kabisa eh e, covid ilipoingia Tanzania na kuwa ni mambo mengi na alikuwa Arusha lakini alifanya kazi nzuri ya kujisoleti lakini CRDB kuanzia hapo walionyesha nia ya kushirikiana na serikali katika kukabiliana na janga na kwa taarifa nilizonazo sasa nimeweza uh, kuipania kazi ya zaidi ya milioni tatu kushirikiana na serikali kufanya hiyo kazi e, lakini e, pongezi zaidi ziende kwenye eneo hili la covid ziende kwa rais wetu kwa jamhuri ya muungano wa Tanzania ambao kimsingi si tu amekuwa ni mtu mwenye kuleta majibu saidi wakati saidi ambayo kiukweli dunia ilitaka haya majibu e, ambayo ingetusaidia hasa kwenye covid lakini vile vile e, e, kwamba leo Tanzania ilikuwa kitembea maeneo mbalimbali duniani ilikuwa baadhi ya watu hawajui Tanzania vizuri na hasa wengi lakini kupitia covid leo Tanzania, Tanzania inajulikana kila mahali kwa sababu ya mambo na maamuzi ambayo rais yetu ameyafanya ambayo kimsingi ndiyo alikuwa jibu sahihi kuhusu namna njema ya kutatua swala la, la covid-19 lakini nipongeze waziri wa afya na timu yake nzima mheshimiwa mwalimu kwa kweli amekuwa ni waziri ni mama ameweza kushirikiana na timu yake na kushauri rais na kufanya mambo mengine yote kwa namna ambayo ni nzuri sana. Kwa hiyo mimi niseme timu ambayo nimeikuta wizarani na watu wengine kwa kweli kwa namna ambavyo wamepambana na covid kwa namna ambayo rais wetu amefanya mimi niko comfortable kwamba Tanzania inaenda kushinda dunia inaenda kushinda. Lakini nije kwenye eneo la la ambacho kimetuleta hapa mimi nimewahi kuwa mkurugenzi wa hospitali ya Selian ambayo kuna hospitali ya AMC ambayo e, ni mmoja wapo wengi wanaita Selian ya mjini ni moja ya infrastructure kubwa sana na nzuri sana ambayo mimi najua imejengwa kwa ushirikiano na CRDB na kwa mkopo wa CRDB na leo ukienda kanda ya kaskazini hakuna asiyejua LMC na Selian ya mjini na ni kwa sababu ya mkopo uliotolewa na seli lakini e, ukiangalia Nairobi huko Kenya ilikuwa watu wakionyesha kiwanja na hati hata benki zinajenga moja kwa moja infrastructure na vitu vingine wanaanza nao kuanzia from scratch nafikiri Tanzania tunaelekea huko lakini e, leo tunakwenda kwenye comprehensive health insurance tukienda kwenye comprehensive health insurance na maana kila mtu atakuwa na bima na vitu vingine manake tunaposungumzia uwekezaji kwenye afya sasa kuna uhakika kwa sababu changamoto ilikuwa inawezekana wagonjwa wasiweze kulipa na benki zinaweza zikaingia kwenye matatizo pale wanapoanza kukopesha au kujenga infrastructure lakini tutapoingia kwenye comprehensive health insurance tukafika mahali tukaijengea uwezo wetu uwezo taasisi zetu za bima na mifumo ya ulipaji kwenye afya ikawa mizuri na upatikanaji wa madawa hospitalini ukawa mzuri kiasi kwamba kila mgonjwa anaenda hospitalini akosi dawa yoyote maana yake kuna kuwepo na uhakika benki zikifanya eh, zikifanya eh, kazi pamoja 
na sekta za serikali ikifanya kazi pamoja na sekta binafsi maana yake kuna uhakika wa fedha zinazoingia kule kurudi ili ziweze kuingia kwenye mzunguko kwa ajili ya kuboresha uchumi wetu na mimi kwambie kwa uhakika mkubwa kabisa eh, kuna maeneo ambayo ukiwekeza hela hazipotei ni kwenye afya najua kwa muda mrefu nchi yetu haikuelewa hilo na hasa tasnia ya kibiashara hawakuelewa lakini ukweli ulio wazi ukiwa na vita hospitali ipo ukiwa na njaa tena ndio watu wengi wanapata matatizo siku zote hakuwezekani kukosekana mteja ndani ya hospitali kwa hiyo kimsingi sasa tukienda kwenye comprehensive health insurance hata taasisi za umma ambazo zimekuwa zikitoa huduma zingine bure kama ya mama na mtoto wazee watoto chini ya miaka mitano manake watoto watakuwa na bima wazee watakuwa na bima kila mtu anakuwa na bima kwa hiyo kila mtu atakuwa analipa manake nini hata mzunguko wa fedha kwenye vituo vyetu vya afya kwenye hospitali zetu za serikali itakuwepo na uwezo wa kufanya kazi na benki zetu utakuwa mzuri sana na hata MCD itaweza kufanya kazi vizuri sana kwa sababu hospitali zetu zitakuwa na uwezo wa kununua dawa kwa cash na kufanya mambo mengine na mzunguko vile vile ndani ya UST na sehemu zingine itakuwa mzuri. Kwa hiyo kimsingi mimi na waelewa sana na e, nakubaliana sana na hiki ambako mmekianzisha na nitaenda kwa mmoja wapo wa balozi wa kuhakikisha hili linafanikiwa kwa sababu na hiyo na impact yake katika kunyanyua eh, eh, kunyanyua si kunyanyua afya kwenye 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 nchi yetu lakini eh, ni, ni, ni litamani sana tukiita tena forum nyingine kama hii naona tumewaita USD tumewaita eh, tumewaita MAT tumewaita eh, AFTA na wengine na wengine lakini kuna eh, kuna jiwe la msingi ambalo kwa wakati wote tumekuwa hatulijui watu walishe Watu walishe tatizo kubwa kwenye taifa hili sio kutokuwa na rasilimali sio kupeleka watu shule wakasoma kwa hilo tatizo kubwa linalokufanya sisi tuwe maskini sio magonjwa yanatuongeza na tatizo kubwa ni kupadwa wenye uwezo wa kuona mambo katika hali ya utupu ili tatizo linaweza kusuluhishwa tu na idara ya lishe ili tuweze kuwekeza nguvu nyingi pale kuanzia mama anapobeba ujauzito mpaka mtoto anazaliwa mpaka mtoto anapofika miaka mitatu tukiwekeza kwenye eneo la lishe maana yake tutazalisha watoto wenye uwezo wa akili kuwapeleka shuleni shuleni wakakutana na mazingira yanaweza kusisimua bongo zao yakasimua bongo zao yakaweza kuona vitu vizuri na kuweza ku stretch kwa namna ya kutizama mambo kwa namna ya utupu manake nini manake hata tutakapozungumzia taasisi zetu za bima tutazaza za afya tutaanza kupata watu wenye uwezo mkubwa wa akili sana na hata tutaweza kufanya biashara na hata madaktari ambao hawapatikani sasa kwenye taifa letu tutaanza kuwapata tutapata viongozi bora tutapata wanasayansi wazuri maana yake ni tutapata wakurugenzi wazuri wa CRDB na wengine maana yake nini mwisho wa siku tutakuwa na taifa ambalo swala la mzunguko wa fedha, swala la majibu magumu ya maswali magumu kama 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 covid na vingine tutapata watu wenye kuleta masuluhisho ya maswali magumu yasiyowezekana leo covid inaenda kuyumbisha uchumi wa dunia lakini wakiwepo watu wenye akili wa kutatua haraka swala la covid uchumi wa dunia hii hautayumba leo rais John Pombe Magufuli yeye hakuna wakati mwingine vitu vingi sio kwamba kuna watu wanamshauri ni uwezo tu wa kipekee wa akili yake unamsaidia kuhisi na kuyaona mambo ambayo wengi wamekuwa hawayaoni na kila mtu kwa sababu uwezo wetu watu wengi wajafikia kuyaona hayo wengi wanakuwa hawamuelewi wanapinga kwa mwanzo lakini mshua siku anatokea ni yeye yuko sahihi dunia nzima sasa kwenye covid inarudi sasa kufuata yale ambayo rais John Pombe Magufuli aliyaona miezi mitatu miwili iliyopita manake nini tunahitaji akili nyingi za kipekee na hiyo ili tuweze kujenga nje 
ambayo ina uchumi mkubwa lakini tujenge nchi ambayo ina usalama tujenge nchi na dunia ambayo ina usalama usalama wa dunia hauwezi kuletwa na mabomu hauwezi kuletwa na silaha haiwezi kuletwa na jeshi kubwa usalama wa dunia na nchi unaletwa na watu wenye akili kubwa wenye uwezo wa kuunganisha watu wenye uwezo wa kuona matatizo na kuja na majibu wenye uwezo wa kuja na strategi sahihi wakati sahihi na nchi yetu inakuwa salama na watu wenye akili kubwa huwa wana mahusiano makubwa sana na Mungu bila kujalisha wanaenda kanisa ni hawaendi lakini uhusiano wao ni mkubwa sana na Mungu na uhusiano mkubwa na Mungu unakufanya tuitengeneze dunia salama tuitengeneze Tanzania salama asante sana karibuni niko tayari kushirikiana na nyinyi twende mbele Shukuru sana sana kwa uwepo wako na tunajua, tunajua kabisa leo tutakuwa pamoja mpaka mwisho wa Walsha ili uweze kuyasikia yale ambayo kama benki tumeandaa Kwa hiyo mwisho waziri kama ukituruhusu sasa tutapenda tu, tuweze kwanza kuelezea Walsha yetu na kutoa mada na baada hapo itakuwa na muda mzuri wa kuwaruhusu wadau popote walipo waweze kuweza maswali mbalimbali lakini na mimi naungana na wewe vile vile kumpongeza sana mheshimiwa rais kwa jinsi alivyolisimamia na kutuongoza katika swala hili la janga la covid na ametuassistia tuendelee kuchapa kazi na kama unavyoona na hii ni sehemu moja hapo ya kwenda kutoa ya fursa ambazo zipo ili sekta ya afya iweze kuimarika lakini vile vile ni sekta ambayo Mheshimiwa Rais amewekeza sana kwa kujenga vituo vingi nchini za anati mbalimbali na mahospitali na haya yatahitaji kwenda kupata huduma na katika usha yetu tutasikia ni maeneo yapi ambao benki ya CDB imejiandaa Asante sana Mheshimiwa Mgeni Rasmi Asante sana Mkurugenzi Mtendaji wa Benki ya CDB Um, thank you so much our guest of honor and our, our managing director Abdul Majid Musa Sekela. I've been getting requests from uh, different people for the forum to be bilingual. We are going to do that. Our presentation is going to be in English, but our managing director will be doing uh, the Kiswanglish, meaning combining English and, and Swahili. Uh, the reason we are doing that, we also need our local audience to understand what is happening and to see the really innovative way Sierra B Bank has brought a solution for them, particularly at this time where we are experiencing a lot of challenges in the health sector. So be assured, we combine both. But if we have a friend who can translate to you, we really appreciate, please, uh, those who are able to do both languages uh, help us to translate to your colleagues karibu mkurugenzi mtendaji asante and thank you very much as i obviously i'll be using both language for the benefit of our citizens but also for the benefits of our uh, esteemed customers who may not be familiar with uh, with the with the swahili um, i think everybody can be able to see our presentations I'll try to be brief, but I'll try to be precise on what is the content of the presentations. In terms of presentations, we have covered a uh, few topics which we intend to discuss today. Ambazo tazipitia leo, ili tuweze ku kuelimishana. Kiangalia kwa karibu what you see from the screen we have we want to share with you how CRDB is positioned today and where are we and how are we performing obviously we obviously touch a base our efforts towards supporting the sector in Tanzania specifically uh, how far the bankers support the sector and how are we engaging but we want also to present our commitment to ensure sustainability and the growth of the sector. 
and obviously we put forward what solutions are we proposing to the sector and ensure that we are able to work together as a stakeholder, come and even say, so that we can be able to achieve the intended objective. Now here, I'm going to go to Nzangu and Nikwamba. Leo, we're going to talk about the salary being made for people in Nigeria. But we're going to talk about the salary being made for people in Nigeria. But we're going to talk about the salary being made for people in Nigeria. kushiriki kwenye sekta afya na ni, mam, ni solution zipi au ni bidhaa zipi ambazo tunazitoa kama benki yetu kuweza kuafikia Tanzania katika sekta afya na mwisho tutaweza kutoa commitment na mipango tuliyonayo kwenye kushirikiana Mshumge rasmi na watia wetu what you see is CRDB has been operational for the last 23 years and is the leading bank in Tanzania but is the bank which is operating beyond Tanzania it is also in Burundi and is a fully fledged commercial bank with total solutions saving the whole segment including uh, we name it children's uh, industries and other sector health sector is also important okay, at the same time CRDB is the listed bank on the stock market we are also a bank which is recently being accredited by GCF and we are rated by Moody. Lakini tuwashukuru sana. We have to thank our customers uh, for the support they have been giving us, including health sector. You can see the bank has been recognized locally and internationally. So many awards was given. But the beauty of CRDB is the bank which is owned by majority of Tanzanians and foreign investors. The government own about 4%, and that includes its own institutions. And we have Tanzanians individually more than 29,000 who actually owns about 33%. And then we have cooperative unions, 2%, and private entities, which is about 77%. Kwa hindi banki ambayo inamirikiwa na watanzania wote, lakini ya vile vile, kwa sabi ya kwa kwenye soko la isa, the banki ambayo wakilaji wanaendea kukua na imani nayo vizuri sana. Here the same time is the bank which is also doing well in Burundi and we are doing fine and we continue to see what are the opportunity when you other market how best we can expand. The next slide it will speak about uh, the way the bank has been performing in terms of segment and how we are segmented. If you look on the on this slide, um, and I believe everybody can be able to see uh, on the slide, is CRDB believes on inclusions and diversity. We have almost more than 3,500, almost 5,500, 3,500 employees, about 44% are women and 56 Amen. Our intention is to continue to employ equal and give equal opportunity. But the bank has wide uh, network. Imetawanyika katika nchi nzima, a different district level. And you can see from the slide, if you compare between 2018 and 2019, you can see a number of branches where the branch number more or less remain the same because we believe on alternative channel. And we have been able to move quite significantly agency banking. But if you look on why I said the bank is well positioned, the capital of the bank stands about 869 billion Tanzanian shillings, with a total asset of 6.6 trillion. That makes CRDB the biggest bank in Tanzania. But in terms of market share, you can see how we position. We have about 24% deposit of the entire market and 20% of assets in, in, in Tanzania. In terms of customer, we are saving more than 3 million. 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 But in the bank, we believe in digital uh, chan channel. You can see we have been able to have about 86%. Transactions that are being done in the outside the branches. And that means majority of our customer are using our digital channels. And this has been a, a, a good experience during the challenge of pandemic 
because there is there was a lockdown, social distance, but our customer never suffered because they were able to transact. On the next slide, I will speak about the the way we are positioned in terms of performance of last year, and you can see the bank was able. Uh, to generate about 120 billion net profit. And if you compare with 2018, that is about 87% growth. I cannot thank more than the customer because the customer are the one who made us to be strong. Return on equity of 14.7%. And you can see the deposits of to, the, to our customers grew by 11% up to 5.2. Kuongeze kwa mana hizo, it means watijewe tuendea kutuamini. Lakini what we can promise is to continue to improve our services so that our customers are able to enjoy the service within the bank. At the same time of today, that's why we have a forum like today. We also get some feedback from our customer about whether to make improvement of our solutions. This success, which I've just highlighted, it also goes together with the partnership. Binkietu Mekua with a number of partners whom work together in a different solution, different sector, different uh, offerings. Um, I need also to, to recognize USAID, Shop Plus, Ambao, Omekwani Wadawetu Wakubwa, they have been supporting us uh, in terms of capacity building, supporting us on health sector. But we have IFC as also our partner, and we have Africa Fund, which is also supporting us on providing funding, but FSDT, which is also good in agri, but they are supporting all sectors. So you can see from the screen that um, these are the partners we're working with. And um, last year, one of our biggest partners was GCF, about the Green Climate Fund. By being accredited in GCF, that means the bank will be able now to expand their wing in terms of financing a key projects in the country. And through this partner, we have been able to support so many projects in the country about to make a panya pamoja. Laki ni mani kubwa ambao tunayo. Laki vivi ni wapongeze efata ambao tumekuwa nao kwa imajadiano. Now this forum is the beginning of our journey and that means we'll be able to achieve the success story of the health sector. If I move to the main uh, agenda, which is also key, is what I would like to highlight in terms of our current contribution to the health sector. Uh, and I believe you can see the slide on the current, uh, the, the way we have committed as a bank. And I believe you'll be able to see the slide uh, in the next slide, which is the bank has been able to provide support to the health sector. And as we speak uh, for the time being, the bank has already disbursed more than 28 billions to the sector, where we are supporting um, health facilities investment. But the most good one is that of recently, uh, this year, we have been able to offer almost more than 50 billions at the new facilities given to the potential investors on the same health sector, about wengi ni wa Tanzania, about naanza kujenga uwezo okuza uh, sector uh, afya na kuhakikisha kwamba vifatiba vinapatikana kiraisi na mtanzania anaweza kupata huduma vizuri lakini the most important side is that when we are supporting sector we need to continue engaging and that's why we have this forum today now as i speak we have been, we have been able to visit different customers about dr now tumeongea nao na majaribu kushare sis and we are currently working on different projects which we believe soon will be also supported. About to imani kwamba wa support hivyo takuza sector ya viwanda. When you speak in associations, I believe sector ya afya is one of the key sector on the associations. I think we have seen during the pandemic the way Tanzanians about meza react. Okiangalia nowadays, you can see Barakoa made in Tanzania sanitizer, made in Tanzania. These are the industry we need to support. And that's why CRDB is ready to work hand in hand. Now, key segment, um, Kama Afia, 
ili tuweze kuapa facility mbalimbali lakini mwisho waziri uh, umeongea kitu kizuri on the opening you said about payment and the flexibility and that was the most important when you want to support the sector you also need to ensure that the members ambao ni wagonjwa mmoja mmoja they are able to make payment they are able to pay collection becomes key because you can be able to access your collections as a, as a bank so far we are supporting more than 144 hospital ambao tumeweza kuweka mfumo wa ulipaji na this payment has been able to facilitate customers ambao ni wagonjwa payment easily to get medications but they have been able to improve cash collection and the performance of those hospitals but at the same time also tax collections and that's why we believe tukifanya pamoja na sekta husika uh, kwa kuangalia mteja mmoja mmoja which we understand that within the sector there are customer which we have been grouped in different category msc SME ambao ni micro wadogo wakati wakubwa na wale ambao wanaweka viwanda but CRDB has all the solution to offer on that one ile slide ambayo ni wanaiona hapo ni kwamba CRDB is the bank which believe kwenye ku support panapotokea tatizo and we have our policy says 1% of our net profit to na give back na kwa mwaka jana we able to support the sector katika maeneo mbaya kwa kutoa vitanda au kujenga zaanati more than 260 million million shillings and this year during the challenge of pandemic and na mshumo zini kushukuru tumeweza kushirikiana vizuri na kamati ya taifa at the same time kushirikiana vizuri kumeke sure kwamba tumechangia zaidi ya milioni 300 so far in a different year tumeshirikiana chama cha madaktari na ndio maana nikamshukuru sana sana uh, dr ambaye ni chama cha madaktari dr Elisha kwa kujitolea na chama chake kutoa elimu because this challenge was related with education and the cause of doing so tumeweza kutoa elimu kwa Tanzania wengi na ndio maana nikamshukuru sana viongozi kwamba confidence level ya wa Tanzania imeweza kuwa juu so now hii ndio ndio eneo muhimu sana about our readiness as a bank kwenye ku support sector afya na hapa nitakwenda polepole kidogo ili wadau waweze kuelewa i want everybody to understand what shall be are capable and what can we offer and basically we'll be able to get some response from the the members ambao wame join how best as a bank we are prepared ukiangalia okay, sector afya kwa normal assessment the way we have assessed in Tanzania it has subdivided in different segments for example kuna more than 1300 ambazo ni private health facilities these are private individuals ambao wame venture kwa sekta afya na kama alivyoongea mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi kwamba how do we support them to grow their business how do we support them to make sure that facilities required are available and that's why the CRDB will be ready to do so but also we have about 6900 public sector health facilities ambazo ni za serikali na in the course of doing so we have been engaging uh, working with together with the ministry kuhakikisha kwamba benki yetu inashirikiana kwa karibu sana lakini ukiangalia kwa nchi kwetu kuna more than 10000 accredited drug dispensaries na dispensary okay zinatakiwa kuwa na madawa na madawa yanapatikana either kwa supplies so we have to make sure kama tunawa support hawa dawa zinakuepo nchini lakini kuna more than 100 nursing homes ambao they are working from homes lakini they are also providing facilities and we have about more than 500 uh, stand alone labs ambao zipo how can we grow more from 500 to 10000 kulingana ukubwa wa nchi yetu tuna more than 1000 pharmacies sasa benki yetu imeliangalia kwa mapana na leo hii nimefurahi kwamba we have more than 500 members joined already who are also a player in this industry but as a bank we understand the challenge facing the sector one of the biggest element is perceptions the way the sector has been perceived by the uh, we we'll say uh, from the supporting financial institutions imeonekana ni sekta ambayo bado 
sekta benki nyingi hazingi lakini vile vile sisi kama banks tunaona ni sekta muhimu sana is crucial and very important the second one ni issue ambayo ku make sure kwamba information zinakuwa disseminated uh, zina wanapata taarifa what kind of facilities and what services are available and the bank has been prepared well to make sure kwamba all members they get updated information and what are the opportunities they can be able to do so okay, at the same time there is also a challenge of limited uh, from knowledge on how to save the companies when you are saving a sector which is specialized sector you also need to have qualified competent team which the bank has made able to train enough and that's why in our school sana usaid uh, shop plus because they have been supporting us on capacity building so we have much qualified experts to analyze the project but the other challenge is facing the sector not only this sector is about collateral mara nyingi uh unasema dhamana sasa dhamana mara nyingi it becomes a challenge when you're looking for a bigger facility or small facilities but what i would like to assure the sector that our first offerings is more customized and we look on the project first before looking at the collateral collateral is the second element we value on the processes in the course of doing so ukiangalia kwenye segment ambazo zimeziongelea they are different there are some of customers they may not have the collaterals but they have business case to sell and the bank has been prepared kuna micro ambao bado ni wadogo ndio wanachipuka benki yetu ina segment hiyo na tumeandaa utaratibu mzuri wa kufanya nao katika zozi hili na nitafurahi sana hata nilipokuwa naongea na dr uh, ogiro jinsi gani CRDB itakuwa karibu sana na ifata to make sure the community katika sekta afya wanakuwa supported either from funding or from payment or banking facilities around and that's why you see with our alternative channel solutions that means some of you of these sectors will also provide banking services on their premises like the other challenge which we have noted from our own assessment in limited medical supplies uh, because tunafurahi kwamba MSD inafanya kazi nzuri sana na it has been supporting ambao ni local industries kufanya vizuri so as a bank we need to enable them to be able to accelerate uh, beyond but also be able to link them with even potential supplier of machine mbalimbali ili kuhakikisha kwamba wanapata a proper payment around but the other challenge is facing hospitals about the face what what they when you run a business you may need to make sure that payment are also controlled there is a proper mechanism of collections so that you can avoid income leakages with our robust digital platform which is omni channel which is make sure that it is ecosystem payment that means the sector the related parties will be able to integrate their payment mechanism with their full fledged account by the bank and they will be able to make to make collections so that means to stop to stop issue ya income leakages lakini at the same time utaweza kumsaidia mgonjwa kuipa kiurahisi bila kutembea na hela and that's CRDB from the assessment level so from the assessment level tumekwenda kwenye kuangalia what are the solutions which we intend to offer in the sector and uh, these are the solution we promised and we commit ourselves as a bank one is to look on the working capital kama tunafahamu what we understand there are some costs are operational and you need to be supported for operational expenses but you also operating someone credit based and that means working capital can be able to support you so we'll be able to enjoy working capital about the overdraft facilities at the same time you will still enjoy invest discount when i say invest discounting hapa naongelea watu wa huduma za kihostari ambao wanafanya katika huduma za bima kwa mfano wao ambao tunatumia bima when you use insurance that means the payment you get services and you pay later that means from the provider you are out of cash in terms of cash flow the bank will be able to support you with invoice discounting by ensure that there is a, a tripartite agreement between the provider of the services and the provider of the medicine kwa mfano ukisema NHIF an example our strategist na anafanya kazi kubwa sana na hospitali nyingi sana lakini wateja wake wote wanatrai bima how do we support that particular hospital iweze ku accept na kwenda kupata madawa solution itapatikana kupitia kwenye invest discounting like at the same time kuna local purchase order uh, we understand kwamba 
you may be want to buy something kwa ajili ya kutoa lesa unapata supplier ku supply kupata mzigo kutoka MSD but you don't have fund and the bank will be able to discount to give you fund and you can be able to purchase the goods at the same time be financed and paid later that is the side of working capital and just to bridge the gap on the working capital on the operational challenges of cash flow the other element is about investment in the medical equipment and when i spoke in my last slide nonga the bank has recently uh, offered more than 50 billion to the industrializations and this industry they should be able to operate either this year na ndo maana tuna support sera ya mheshimiwa wa rais kwamba nchi ya viwanda na tumeona viwanda hivi ambavyo vinajengwa ni vya kisasa vitakuwa vizuri sana maana yake madawa yatapatikana nchini kwa sababu na bei itakuwa ndogo as the bank will be able to give you a long term financing for purchase of equipment lakini at the same time construction of facilities medical facilities but on the on the long on the medical equipment we are able to link you with the supplier of your choice and ensure that we lock in the payment Uh, the framework of payment without incurring costs by issues either lc or other arrangement ambako mpaka machine nafike nafungwa na kwa tested you can make payment so we save get you from the payment so na kuna majanga mengine lakini the other issue is about complex project when i say complex project kwenye kwenye sector afya inahitaji investment kubwa and some project might be bigger the good thing kwamba we have the capabilities to arrange a syndicated facilities ya kuweza kuensure kwamba kama ni kwa kubwa even how many billion you want we can still be able to arrange with our partners either international and local na ku facilitate project hiyo kuweza kujengwa kwa hiyo nadhani kwa fursa hii hatutakuwa na haja ya kuogopa kwamba how do we get funding the first thing is to know about the project viability and the potential of the project and be able to look for funding and said we will be able to give you proper advice how the funding will be uh, made available lakini issue nyingine ambayo ni muhimu sana ni kwenye upande wa financing kwa import na mambo ya tender tunafahamu hata sasa hivi tumeona vifaa vinaagizwa watu wanapata tender so those companies they need to be supported at the time of bidding until the time of supplies kwa maana ya kule aidha kufanya kufungua LC lakini when you bid kwa ya kupata tender CRDB has been made much more simplified it's free and when you get awarded obviously will give you a guarantee for performance guarantee but at the same time advance payment lakini when you are importing goods we have a good robust uh, framework to to ensure kwamba our payment in terms through the LC with your partner is being fast ambako uinkai gharama kubwa ulipi riba mpaka hapo unapokuja kulipa kwa ni njia nzuri sana ambayo CRDB tumejipanga kwa ajili ya kuotoa huduma hiyo. These are the four elements. The next item ambayo tumeona ni mlimu sana ni sector afya. Nimeongea kwa upande wa cash payment na cash management. Ukiangalia kwenye uh, size kwenye payment mechanism watu wanalipa kwa njia digital. You pay with either way with the mobile or your card and that it has been emphasized even beyond during the covid kwa sababu ya kuondoa movement you don't need to move with the cash you don't need to go to the bank so we have been able to integrate as i said 144 hospital our intention is to integrate the entire sector ambao kuta provide a proper ecosystem ambayo itaweza kuonyesha a clear payment transparency of payment collection of of taxes and other stuff lakini we have also have a solution called QR code ambayo ina kuhusu kufanya malipo mepesi bila kuwa na hassles ya kuweza kuingiza uh, password it depends on how you define lakini our internet banking system is a robust one na this one goes beyond because you can even pay anyone regardless of bank either as a bank account or on a sim kwa hiyo tukiweza ku integrate the entire uh, sector ya afya hakutakuwa na haja ya wewe kuja benki hakutakuwa na haja ya wewe kutoweza kulipa mtu yote because we have a system which enable you to make payment na shughuli nyingine ni upande wa sim banking that i can't emphasize more uh, tumekuwa na msemo wetu unasema inap ulip popote na tick that is our slogan that means you can be able to do a transaction anywhere wherever you are and this is the future directions 
the, the next services we intend to offer is Forex transactions. We understand Nafanya uh, importation kubwa, like we have a better advisory uh, center in terms of Forex, but also giving the better exchange rate for you to manage ex Forex exchange risk. Uh, so I would encourage uh, the most of our participants to use our bank in that area to make sure that they enjoy our services. And the most important part, every business has a risk. And I said CRDB is a group of companies and one of our subsidiaries is insurance. So we offer insurance services for both fire, burglary, this is general, but also, also, also insurance on earth. So basically, uh, all the business I'm about to, to make support to make sure we have a total solution from CRDB. And we, by doing so, from your employees, what are you insured, what are you supported as a, as, a, as a company, na kukinga na majanga yote ambayo yaneza kujitokeza. Nimeerezea mazwa ni kwa banki yetu inaongoza kwa kuwa na wakara wengi sana. This is another opportunity kwa sector afya. Na kuunapo kuwa na vituo vingi vya afya ambayo metapaka nchi nzima. That means the same center can also provide payment solutions in terms of through our wakara project. And through partnership, we should be able to offer all services offered by CRDB, either cash in or cash out. We should be able to offer the services for patient who could have an account to open the account. Our community and bike around to move the people to the inclusive uh, more so that they can be able account, but also make sure people can pay bills the Serikali in Bali. Either bills are Maji, our bills are Meme, our bills are Kodi, Maria Nyumba, and Bali Bali. Through that framework. By doing so, Takwa to Meza Kuongeza Tanzania Wengi, Kuny Fumo or Feather. Nakokto Huduma Kokaribu, Taundrea with Garama and Bazo, they have been encouraged to travel all the way to get services and also reduce the risk of keeping cash on the pillows. And that's the solution which we are accelerating around the country. We have more than 15,000 agents countrywide, but we believe with the data which I've shared on the sector of health sector, that's where we see them becoming our partner in the processes. The other services we want to offer uh, to highlight today is about payment of salaries. And we believe that we have seen some customer moving with the files, not gonna file in a flash. We see RDB, you don't no longer need that. You just need to make payment wherever you are and make able to transact immediately and those customers will be able to get the messages. But I think, we can't speak about health sector without looking the or the soldiers about ni wadaktari na waguzi. And our fanyakazi wano fanyak kwenye sector I fear. Kuna imani kwamba everyone has objective. One objective is to grow the sector, but also enable our fanyakazi wano kufanikiwa. And the bank is also well positioned well to provide affordable uh, saving propositions in terms of how much you save at the same time, providing you the capability of getting a mortgage facilities, providing you the possibility of getting a personal loan, Kwajira commit individual goals, because when you work, you also have individual goals. But also the most important uh, side is digitizations of this facility in terms of salary advance, where the customer can be able, while you kazi, while you kujikimu wakati you kazi vizuri. Na tunamini kama salibi kwa mafanya kazi akiwa and Afianzuri, Nakio Katkama Zingira Mbo Ameturia, obviously will perform more beyond. And that is important to, to CRDB. What are we committing? Uh Majam Ganasimi, the Nkia to Kamaniva Kwambia, see to Naimani Zaidi Kto Huduma Ambazo Zime Shirikisha. Now when I say Shirikisha, it's about inclus inclusive uh, discussions, inclusive thinking. And that's why we call ourselves the bank that listen. And you like to listen to the health sector part stakeholders on how best we can provide solutions to them and save the sector better. We would like to hear from the sector, what are the challenges? Or may we have listed a few challenges, but there might be more challenges. And today we get quite uh, good discussions on how the bank is positioned, how the bank should do support. Now, and I believe as a, what our commitment? Our commitment, first of all, 
is to foster more on collaborations. I've indicated about our partners. Now with the health sector, we need to increase our partnership about the financial education business and MSB, and medical supplies about EFATA, now other insurers, to make sure kwamba all stakeholders with about the financial sector to improve availability of funding toward health, like in knowledge, and to ensure kwamba the sector is well supported. But also provide enough education of financial services uh, and ensure that financial literacy when you sector affair in a ongezeka zaidi. Like a piri, working closely with supplier about the medical equipment, when you medical equipments and medical supplies. Or provide either advisory role in terms of what could be the best way of engaging in terms of acquisitions and what kind of funding is appropriate for a specific project. That is our commitment. But secondly, is to provide a customized offer. When I say a customized offer, and when I speak about a partnership, that means our solutions, it involves a thinking through between members, participants like EFATA, MSD, and other medical supplies, giving input on what to design. We are not bank on normal conventional banking. We are more innovative thinking. So we would like to create customized solutions for all segments in the health sector that cut across when you say micro, SME and up, upper corporate. Because we understand when you say a bigger factor that is corporate, but there is nursery, kunaire dispensary, which these are small dispensaries. So we must have a solution here to support them. Like you want to offer competitive pricing there's been a story about interest rate. Now, my thing in Hungary, I come interest rate to Changamoto. Like in what we say as a, as a bank, when we have a partnership with our partners, pricing is is negotiable, and we have a standard pricing based on the segment, based on the discussions to offer in the sector. So I believe our partnership with the parties I've just highlighted, like Efata, to go on a price and more acceptable to the sector, it will cost every solution. Like what you want to do, the other commitment you want to make forward, you need to continue to invest in training because we believe knowledge is power and that's how we can transform the sector. So we will offer training on financial products and services when you health sector jointly. And then say jointly, that means our training material has to have some element of experts. And we have seen some doctors, we have invited this, Chama Chama Daktari, that means training in Koskana, Okay, at the same time, we continue to partner with health facilities and institutions when you offer knowledge about CRDB, what will impact the knowledge of staff are banking at CRDB. So when you say the bank that listen, when you want you to, when you meet our staff, either individual staff or the other staff, we speak one language in this sector. And that is the commitment we are putting forward. What do we also continue to comment? And I think uh, you can see the slide. Tunaimani Kwamba Efata is our key strategic partner. And we had a series of discussions, and now we're actually activating our discussions to ensure Kwamba we reach everyone in Tanzania. And the bank is available for everyone. When you say the bank that listen, but as a management, we are committed that because we are ready to serve the sector. Because the sector will value much. And of recent challenges, what we have seen as a pandemic with emphasis from our president and the entire government in Hungary, Kukuza sector Afia, in Hungary, Kukuza Viwanda, and CRDB is the right partner to work for. So to create customized section solutions for MSC, Kama Nivo Sema, Laki Tendea Kuongeza, further training and Akwaksha Kamba, what about Napa Mikopo, Kama Nimikopo, Wanapata knowledge ya kuweza kulipa. Here's in a commitment about to restore the sector and to Naimani, who Shirikiano and Jada Waleo, who Takwa Nimans or Chachu, who have been here to Kafikia, or Dao Wengi, or Pande Wafia. Moshimua, Mganasi, Mepomonia, and other participants among the Matigueto. These are the slides I'm about to go to Mesianda on how and what can be offered through SADB and what we intend to offer. But as I said, that we intend to start a full engagement in terms of partnership or providing solutions. And I believe after these sessions, 
will be fully engaged with all stakeholders and parties working together to come forward with the solutions. And if you want to get much information, as I said, the bank has more than 240 outlets. You are able, you'll be able to get all this information from our branches, but also you can be able to get all this information through our AFIA. And what we have created, and I think that is the most important for the members because we want everybody who participated today either to get the right answer or to get the right feedback so that we would like everyone to send information about AFIA. You can see the email, it says afia at stlbbank.com. Here an email about to me dedicate specifically to make sure Kwamba to na patam tosha. Get much feedback as we can, get much emphasis on information as we can so that we're able to respond back to the sector. As a bank, we are really committed and on behalf of the management and the board, I promise that this is one of the promises the bank is putting forward to ensure that we work together to change and transform the sector and have a better life in Tanzania. Well, Moshima Mugerasimi and members, this was the summary of my presentations. Naomba ni washukuru sana and thank you everybody. I also thank you for participant and I believe uh, through digital because this is also a new way as, it, as I said, we are more digital being the first to do this. I believe we have been able to follow my presentations, but you've been able to follow the slide I've shared and now you should be able to engage and have a discussions. Nakushukuru sana, nakushukuru sana wadao. Now we are looking forward for a good discussions in my presentations and with my colleagues, we should be able to respond on questions and give good response on how best we can take this sector forward and make a difference together at CRDB. Benki yako, ni benki ambayo inafusikiliza and you are ready to listen and make changes together. Asante sana. Thank you, thank you so much, Abdul Majid uh, Musan Sukera, uh, CRDB CEO, for the very exhaustive presentation. Uh, you have taken us on what CRDB is, uh, the health uh, challenges, uh, health industry challenges, currently what CRDB does for the health um, through engagement um, and discussion with different stakeholders. As you said, you are the bank that listens you have come up with uh, solutions. Um, you, you have shared the solutions, what the bank can do. And what was really interesting is the commitment you made to the, uh, to the stakeholders to, for this industry. So everybody who listened today, everybody who is going um, to share this with other colleagues in the market, they will be able to tell their colleagues all to discuss with others what exactly CRDB can do uh, for them. I do understand uh, that uh, CRDB is never tired of listening from uh, it is customers and stakeholders. Apart from coming up with these solutions and commitment, we still need to get more feedback from uh, participants. And um, in short while, I'll invite uh, more colleagues from the industry to say a few words, maybe to give us more feedback, uh, tell us if this is enough or we need to do more and maybe get more details. Na penda nichukue nafasi kumshukuru sana mkurugenzi mtendaji Abdul Majid Musa Nsekela kwa kupresent kitu ambacho sisi wa Swahili tunasema kimenona, kina mahantumati, kina maelezo ambayo ya mejitosheleza kuhusu uh, benki yenyewe ya CRDB changamoto mbalimbali ambazo uh, watoa huduma za afya wanazipata akazungumzia pia ambacho benki ya CRDB sasa hivi kinakufanya kwenye sekta hii ya afya lakini kitu kizuri zaidi alichokisema hapa ni kwamba benki ya CRDB ilikaa pamoja na wadau wakaangalia zile changamoto na kutokana na zile changamoto akaja na majawabu ambayo benki ya CRDB inaamini kabisa yataweza kuleta chachu mpya katika sekta hii ya afya ikiwemo utoaji wa mikopo uh, kufinance uh, project kubwa na zaidi yeye pamoja na timu yake nikiwa na maana mkurugenzi mtendaji akatoa ahadi kwa watu ambao wanahusika na hii sekta kwamba atawapa ushirikiano 
uh, katika maeneo ya kutoa suluhisho ambalo linawafaa kushirikiana katika kutoa elimu la, ili kuweza kuja na kitu tofauti katika nchi yetu ya Tanzania kinachohusu huduma ya afya. Sasa basi mkutano huu ni mkutano wa watu wa afya. Alichokifanya mgeni wetu rasmi ni kutufungulia rasmi mkurugenzi mtendaji ni kutufungulia na yeye kutupa chati ya kwanza discussion. Sasa hivi tuanze kuwasikia wenyewe ambao ni wahusika na nitaomba mtu wa kwanza kumkaribisha awe ni Dr. Samuel Ogilo. Natumaini Dr. Samuel Ogilo yuko pamoja nasi. Nitaomba ni mkaribishe aseme machache wakati huo Dr. Ellen Mkondia anajitayarisha. Dr. Samuel Ogilo karibu. Asante sana. Uh... Nashukuru sana kwa presentation nzuri hii ambayo ameitoa MD. Naomba tumwombe. Pia nashukuru kwa. Yes. Yeah. Unanisikia hapo vizuri? Nasikia vizuri. Nasikia vizuri. Karibu sana na asante kwa kushiriki nasi siku ya leo. Asante sana. Nashukuru kwa presentation nzuri hii ambayo ame ambayo ameitoa MD. Lakini pia nashukuru kwa utangulizi aliotoa mgeni rasmi naibu waziri wizara ya afya uh, na pia kwa wasikilizaji wengi ambao wamejitokeza. Mimi naamini kwamba sekta ya afya ina nafasi nzuri sana katika ujenzi wa uchumi wetu na hatuwezi tukaendelea bila kuwa na ushirikiano na uh, sekta muhimu sana ambayo ni afya. Tunafahamu vizuri sana ya kwamba katika miaka mwanzo wa miaka ya tisini, benki ya dunia ilitoa zaidi ya shilingi wakati ya dola dola bilioni tano kwa ajili ya ku develop health sector duniani hicho tajike ilikuwa tu ni guarantee na makampuni au na nchi mbalimbali ili waweze ku develop sekta ya afya nchi za asia especially nchi za, za ya india ilichukua advantage hiyo nchi za afrika tulikuwa tuna sita kuchukua mikopo hii kusaidia development sector i mean private sector tukangania tu kwamba hela hizo ziende kusaidia public sector matokeo ni kwamba miaka kumi baadaye nchi za Afrika zikawa zinatumia hela zao nyingi sana kupeleka wagonjwa katika hizi nchi za Asia sasa ni wakati wa kubadilika sekta zetu za fedha ziweze kuangalia wawekezaji wa ndani kuna potential kubwa sana katika sekta ya afya Tumeona hivi karibuni tayari wanatoka watu nchi nyingi majirani kuja kutibiwa Tanzania. Tumeona uwekezaji mkubwa sana ukifanywa na private sector uh, Tanzania. Pamoja na public sector pia wameamua kuwekeza kiwango kubwa sana katika kuimarisha huduma. Kwa hiyo kuna future ya investment kubwa za afya Tanzania. Kuna future ya kupata uh, medical tourists kuja Tanzania. Potential kubwa na zaidi ya nchi nani zinatuzunguka? na kiangalia nchi ambazo pia ni visiwa mbalimbali. Kwa hiyo mimi na mimi hivi ni muda wa kutumia nafasi ya CDB vizuri, tumeanza uhusiano mzuri na CDB, utaweza kuendeleza na ni benki ambayo ina uwezo mkubwa sana kifedha. Kwa naamini kwamba tutafika sehemu ambapo tutachukua uh, advantage ambayo tunaiona hii. Hii nafasi tunaiona ambayo ni ya nadra kuweza kuendeleza huduma za afya nchi. Afya bora ni uchumi mzuri ikiwa na uchumi mzuri ikiwa na afya nzuri ya Tanzania itakuwa pia na uchumi mzuri kujenga uchumi wetu na serikali imetoa nafasi nzuri sana tumeona karibuni tu katika wizara ya afya katika miaka miwili iliyopita zaidi ya vituo hamsini uh, imesajili vituo vipi kwa hiyo naona kwamba sekta inakuwa kwa kasi sana ni muda sasa wa kuweza kushirikiana kuweza kuwa na malengo ya taifa na kuweza kuwa na finance strategy nzuri Jana pia na wengi ambao wanaoshika katika financing ya afya. Najua watu walikuwa nasoma hapa watu wanaongelea NHIF ambao wana dhamana kubwa sana ya financing katika afya. Lakini pia tunaongelea uh, insurance companies zingine. Sasa nadhani tuungane kwa pamoja tuweze kuwa na, na direction moja na naamini tutafika mbali. Shukrani sana CDB kwa kuja na wazo zuri, tushirikiana kwa kupitia wadau mbalimbali na naamini kwamba tutafikia malengo ya ya ambaye amewekwa kwa taifa ya kuweza kutoa afya bora kwa jamii lakini pia sekta afya iweze kuwa sehemu muhimu ya kukuza uchumi uchumi wa taifa
na mimi nawezekana asante sana nakushukuru sana Asante sana uh, Dr. Ugilo tunashukuru sana kwa uh, feedback na kwa kutufungulia mjadala. Nitaomba nimkaribishe Dr. Ellen Mkondia naye aweze kusema chochote kabla sijafungua um, majadiliano. Dr. Ellen Wakati tunamtafuta Dr. Ellen naomba nikaribishe Dr. Elisha Osati Elisha Osati. Dr. Elisha Osati. Dr. Ellen Mkondi amekuwa online. That's the beauty of technology. Namona Victoria. Ellen Dok, um, nafikiri Dr. Ellen Mkondia ana anawakilishwa na Victoria au naomba nipate uhakika kama Dr. Ellen yuko online na Dr. Elisha yuko online. Wakati wanajaribu kuwaunganisha kuna wenzetu ambao walimekuwa wakituma maswali yao online nitaomba niweze kuyashare hapa na kuwa encourage wengine kuendelea kutuma maswali kupitia kwenye mtandao na baadaye tutafungua kabisa uh, ambako mnaweza kuuliza maswali direct kwenye panel ambayo iko mbele yangu wakati mnajiunga na kuji, ku, maswali ni nitaomba uh, kwanza uweze kubonyeza kile kialama ambacho kimekaa kama speaker ili uweze kusikika na ukimaliza kuongea utakizima kile kialama ambacho kimekaa kama speaker lakini pia ili uweze pia kujulikana na timu ya wataalamu wetu kwamba unataka kuuliza swali kwenye simu yako au kwenye kompyuta yako kuna ile alama kama ya darasani tulivyokuwa tunasoma unanyosha mkono alafu tunakuchagua alafu unauliza swali. Kwa hiyo tutaenda hivyo hivyo utanyosha mkono, uh, tutakuchagua, utaenda kwenye alama yenye speaker, utabonyeza, utaweza kuongea na ukimaliza kuongea utazima na tunaomba sana uweze kuzima kwa sababu ni ni muhimu tuko wengi, tuko zaidi ya tano kwenye forum hii. Kwa hiyo usipozima maana yake ni kwamba hatutaweza kusikilizana. Kwa hiyo nitaenda kwenye maswali ambayo tayari nimepokea wakati huo wanamwandaa Dr. Ellen Mkondia na Dr. Elisha kuweza kujiunga nasi na kuweza kuwasikia uh, wao. Uh, swali la kwanza ambalo uh, nimelipokea na hili linaenda kwa panel nzima limetoka kwa ndugu mtani ambaye anasema NHIF payments is between 60 days and they do exceed how will crdb bank intervene this malipo ya nhif ni kati ya siku 60 na zaidi crdb bank itawezaje kufanyia kazi haya swali la kwanza swali la pili Can I know if CRDB Bank will pay the providers before health insurance pays us? Can I know if CRDB Bank will pay the providers before the health insurance pays us? Je, yeah, naweza kujua kama CRDB Bank inaweza ikawalipa watoa huduma za afya kabla ya insurance haijamlipa mtoa huduma? Swali la tatu kuna shida ya makato ya watoa huduma yanayofanywa na he, NHIF kwa wadau wake hivyo ni tahadhari tu ili msemaji wa NHIF naye asaidie itakuwaje pindi CRDB na NHIF 
katika malipo ya wadau this is important invoice huwa zinachereweshwa kulipwa na zikilipwa huwa hazilipwi 100% why okay ili ni ni swali la tatu um swali nalofuatia linatoka kwa Benedict Mchala yale yote alikuwa anatoka kwa mtani does CRDB bank have a corporate social responsibility policy directed to the health sector in Tanzania swali linalofuatia linatoka kwa Luzama Kazulaka Samani kuna message imeingia naona MD wa NHIF ametuma wa message nitaisoma baadaye nafikia atakuwa ametoa majibu. Nini mchango wa CRDB Bank kwa wale wanaoanza uwekezaji wa sekta ya afya maana tatizo kwa wengi tunaoanza tunatafuta mtaji halafu ili uwezeshwe unahitaji kolatelo mnatusaidiaje ili tujikwamue kukuza facility zetu. Haya ni maswali ya mwanzo wakati um, panel wanaendelea kuyatafakari nimeelezwa kwamba one of the panel member yuko tayari kwa ajili ya kwanza kutoa uh, feedback yake kidogo nitaomba niweze kumuunganisha naomba sasa tuweze kumfikiliza dr Ellen Mkondia wakati huo panelists wanajiandaa na maswali na naona maswali mengi yanaendelea kuingia. Dr. Ellen Mkondi ya karibu. Um, I'm not Ellen Mkondi, I'm from MSD. Ah, MSD. Yes. Okay, nafikiri uh, MSD, yes, ni HR wa MSD. Uh, karibu sana. Victoria karibu kwa neno lolote nafikiri wamemchanganya na Dr. Ellen Mkondia karibu Asante sana um, first I would like to to thank you for having this webinar and also to apologize on behalf of um, my director general uh, brigadier general uh, Gabriel Saul Mhidze <clears throat> he could not be with us today because he has <clears throat> has traveled out of Dar es Salaam um, for the net campaign. Um, as MSD, we are also proud to, you know, partner with MS, uh, with uh, CRDB. We partner with them on a lot of financial solutions. Lakini kwenye upande wa sector ya afya, vile vile tunakaribisha hizi innovation nyingi ya bazo zinaletua na bank. Cha muhimu sana kama mtaweza pia kufund hizi hivi vituo vya afya kama hivi vituo ambavyo vinafadhiliwa na Tamisemi um, ambavyo vi, viko katika hizi tertiary levels kama alivyosema uh, mheshimiwa naibu waziri uh, ili waweze pia kuweza ku, kuanza kununua dawa kwa wingi lakini vile vile napenda kuambia kwamba MSD na sisi tumeshaleta mtambo wa barakoa na mtambo wetu wa barakoa una utakuwa unaanza kuzalisha zile barakoa kwa watumiaji wote umeshafika nafikiri kuanzia next week tutaweza kutangaza vizuri na kuweza kufanya huo uzalishaji na hivyo kwamba na sisi pia tumeingia katika mambo ya uzalishaji wa viwanda asante uh, asante sana uh, Victoria Elangwa mkurugenzi rasmi watu kutoka MSD tunashukuru sana kwa kutujoin uh, nimeambiwa Dr. Ellen Mkondia yuko online Uh, it seems kila tukimtafuta eh Ellen kwa kweli uh, karibu sana Dr Ellen kwa maneno machache alafu tutawakaribisha panel kwa majibu karibu Dr Ellen Mkondi asante uh, sana samani sana for hii interruption do teknolojia ina inatukwamisha ina kidogo teknolojia Okay uh, so mimi labda niseme tu kwa kifupi na nashukuru kwanza kwamba CRDB iweza kutushirikisha katika ku, katika muda halo muhimu sana wa kuimarisha afya za wananchi kupitia kuimarisha huduma za afya na mimi binafsi kama kiongozi wa taasisi ya Benjamin William Mkapa 
ni mdau binafsi lakini pia hata taasisi yetu sisi ni uh, wateja wazuri sana wa CRDB na tumekuwa wateja wao toka tulipoanzisha hii taasisi yetu mwaka 2006 na tunafarijika kuona kwamba taasisi inakuwa na tunaenda kwa pamoja na CRDB jinsi inavyokuwa katika huduma zake za um, za mteja zinazompatia mteja labda binafsi nikisema kwamba taasisi yetu sisi tuna manage watumishi wa afya zaidi ya elf, karibu elfu mbili na wote hawa wanapata mishahara kupitia mfumo wa CRDB na tulivyoanza mwanzo na tuvuendelea sasa hivi tumekuwa tunaimarisha sana katika kutumia e-mobile payment au e-payment ya mishahara ya hawa watumishi na mishahara inafika kwa wakati kwa sababu tasi... na hasa tu, hasa tuko kwenye maeneo ya vijijini kwa hiyo huduma inapofika mpaka kule na hakikishie yule mtumishi wa afya anapata mshahara wake kwa wakati directly kwenye account yake whether na bank na CRDB au wana bank na benki nyingine labda kwa hiyo hapo hapo ningependa kutoa maoni kwa CRDB kwamba tuangalie zaidi mikakati yenu ya CSR corporate social responsibility kujaribu kupunguza tena pengo ambalo lipo la watumishi wa afya na pengo ambalo lipo kitaifa jitihada ni nyingi zinafanya katika kutoa ajira za madaktari wa uguzi na tunaona recently rais pia ametoa ajira za madaktari elfu moja lakini bado pengo lipo kwa sababu pia ujenzi umeendelewa kujenga zahanati na vituo vya afya hapa kwenye upande wa serikali na huko tunaona pia private sector inazidi kufungua huko tunafahamu pia faith based organization mashirika ya dini yanaendesha huduma za afya lakini bado uhaba wa tumishi upo. Kwa bado ningependa kuwaomba CRDB waangalie jinsi gani fungu lao la CSR linaweza kusaidia katika kuongeza ajira za wataalamu wa afya kupitia mifumo ya haraka haraka au ya naendelevu ambayo tumekuwa tunaiendesha sisi kama taasisi ya Mkapa Foundation tuko tayari kushirikiana nao kwenye hilo uh, upatikanaji wa wataalamu. Na pili ambalo naliona ni vizuri pia CRDB anze kuangalia Tunataka sana uh, taasisi za kiserikali huduma za afya zinazotolewa na hospitali ya mkoa health centers dispensaries na hata hizi private hospitals ziweze kujitegemea especially za, za serikali kwa hiyo sustainability measure badala kusubiri kutegemea tu cost sharing na hela ya bima afya na hela ya ruzuku inayoletwa na serikali wao wenyewe wanaweza kujiendelezaje kuwa wabunifu kuwa na miradi ambayo itawaendeshea na kuwa napata kipato cha kuendesha huduma za kila leo kwa hiyo mimi nafikiri ni fursa kwa CRDB kuangalia jinsi gani inawajengea uwezo hizi um, hospitals za serikali kuwa wabunifu kwenye business development wao wenyewe ku manage fedha vizuri zaidi ambazo wanazipata na ili wapate kupata profit kidogo ambayo itawasaidia kuendesha their routine running costs za pale kwenye hospitali. Hili nafikiri tumeliona vizuri muhimbili wamejitahidi ni mfano mzuri na baadhi ya hospitali zingine kubwa sasa CRDB ikiingia kuwasaidia pia na hizi uh, hospitali za ngazi ya chini itasaidia pia kwa kushirikiana na Wizara ya Afya na hata Tamisemi, ofisi ya Rais Tamisemi. Eneo la tatu ambalo ningependa kuligusia ni uh, nimefahamu hapa nimesikiliza sana mijadala mingi naangalia curative services kuimarisha huduma za afya za tiba lakini tunatambua kwamba tiba ni gharama kuliko kinga ni wakati sasa na tumekuwa tunasema hili sana uh, kwamba lazima tuimarishe zaidi masuala ya prevention and promotion kwa sababu cha kupunguza gharama ya matibabu. Kwa hiyo hapa ni fursa pia ya CRDB kuangalia kwenye masuala ya kinga na wadau wengine. Mfano, tayari tuna wahudumu wa afya ya ngazi ya jamii ambao wanatoka kwenye jamii. Ni normal community person wamechaguliwa na jamii wenyewe zaidi ya 1040 wako. So this is a pool of experts ambao wamepewa labda mafunzo madogo ya miezi mitatu na juzi serikali imepitisha mwongozo watakuwa wanapewa mafunzo wanapewa cheti wanatoa hizi huduma za afya kwenye ngazi ya jamii za masuala ya kifua kikuu ukimwi na hata sasa hivi kwenye masuala ya covid corona tumekuwa tunawatumia pia masuala ya afya uzazi je hawa tunawezaje kuwatumia ni kama fursa ya wao wenyewe wakatengeneza sakos zao wakawa wanajiendesha wao wenyewe kwenye ngazi ya kijamii kwenye ngazi ya jamii 
hii itakuwa pia inasaidia mwanajamii au mwananchi kupata huduma haraka zaidi na sio lazima atembee umbali mrefu kwenda kwenye kituo cha afya lakini kuna vitu vingine masuala ya lishe masuala ya uh, jinsi gani ule jinsi gani ujikinge na maradhi mengineyo inaweza kutolewa kwenye ngazi ya jamii na sio lazima aende hospitalini kwa hii ni eneo ambalo nafikiri pia CRDB inaweza kuangalia how to work with this pool of community health workers ambao wako zaidi ya 40 kwenye jamii la mwisho kabisa bila kuchukua muda mrefu ni kusiana na hizi asasi za zisizo za kiserikali ambazo zinafanya huduma za afya nasema mfano tu hizi NGOs za afya zaidi tumekuwa tegemezi kwenye donor funding na hela za wafadhili sio sustainable na tuse, bado zitakuweko zita lakini kuna utaratibu ambao wenzetu nchi zingine zimefanya wameanzisha kitu kinaitwa endowment fund kwa hii endowment fund ni kitu ambacho ni hela ni capital unaiweka as an investment ambayo ita generate income au interest kusaidia kuendeleza huduma ambazo zinatolewa na ile NGO. Kwa hiyo mimi nafikiri ni wakati mwafaka pia CRDB ku explore this area. Ya yeah, how do you support these NGOs to establish the endowment fund for long term sustainability? Asante sana. Asante sana Dr. Ellen Mkondi, asante kwa very constructive and insightful feedback kwa benki ya CRDB. Uh, tunakushukuru sana kwa mchango wako. Panel naona wanachukua uh, minutes kwa sababu bado napata lots and lots of requests ya watu wanaotaka kuchangia labda tu wasikilize tu more alafu panel iweze kuendelea. Ah uh, nitaomba tumkaribishe Dr. Osat wakati huo huo tutafuatiwa na mkurugenzi mkuu wa mfuko wa bima wa taifa. Dr. Osat karibu. Ah uh, nashukuru sana Tuli, asante sana ni washukuru CRDB kwa si kama mnasikika. Nasikika vizuri sana. Yes, uh, ni washukuru CRDB kwa kuorganize uh, hii jambo. Ingawa nime nimejoin late, nilikuwa napata shida kidogo ya kujoin. Uh, lakini nafikiri imekuwa jambo jema kwamba tumeweza kujumuika kwa ajili ya kuweza kudiscuss uh, haya mambo. Na kiukweli mimi ni sema tu CRDB wamekuwa very supportive kwenye kwenye sekta yetu ya afya. Na katika sekta ya afya kuna program nyingi tu ambazo CRDB wamekuwa wame part and parcel. Mfano tu sisi wakati tunaanza tunaanza hii uh, program ya ya corona uh, mambo ya education CRDB wame support sana nafikiri tulitembelea karibu dispensary za za, za Dar es Salaam nyingi sana kuweza kutoa elimu kwa kuhamisha sekta ya afya lakini hata kwa kwa viongozi wa jamii na kwa kweli ime, imeleta impact kubwa sana na tutazungumza na, na vyombo vya habari kwa ajili ya kuweza kueleza progress tunavyoiona kwa mfano kwenye isho corona na amini na mchango mkubwa sana wa, wa CRDB kwenye hili ndio naamini bado tuna, tuna, tuna nafasi kubwa kuendelea kushirikiana kwa ajili ya kuhudumia wa Tanzania lakini kwa sekta nzima uh, katika hili nimesikia nimekuta uh, Uh, Dr. Msekela ana ana anamalizia presentation yake nimesikia presentation nyingine mbili but basi sijapata presentation ya naibu waziri lakini jambo ambalo naliangalia hapa ni kwamba mnajua sasa hivi vyo vyetu vinafanisha madaktari wengi sana na kadiria tunadadilisha madaktari karibu moja na 400 mpaka moja na 500 kwa mwaka na isho ajira imekuwa ni, ni, ni jambo ni changamoto kubwa ingawa tunashukuru sana juhudi za serikali tumeona mheshimiwa rais alitupa zile ajira za madaktari 1000 na tunashukuru wame wame wameshapangiwa kazi na wanaendelea na taratibu za kujiunga lakini kwa tutakuwa na tuna watu wengi ambao pia wanataka kuepo uh, uh, nje ya nje ya mfumo wa ajira ambao hawa kwa mfano tumeona tunashukuru sana pia wizara kupitia uh, private uh, nini idara ya, ya, ya registration na private facilities kwa kuweza kubadilisha sheria ya huyu sasa madaktari na watumishi wengine kuweza kufungua clinic zao zamani tulikuwa tuwezi kufungua kwa mfano tutenda loan clinics na hii sasa inawezekana mpaka kwenye kazi ya yani daktari wa kawaida MD anaweza kufungua uh, clinic yake nafikiri hapa ndio ndio sasa uh, mchango mkubwa sana wa benki uh, zinaingia a uh, kuweza sasa kukiweza kuweza kuweka kwa pamoja na na kuweza kusaidia au kuweza kupata capital na sisi kama 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 chama cha madaktari kama kama madaktari ya tulionao wazoefu sisi tuko tayari kwa ajili ya kuweza 
kufanyia supervision, kuangalia mambo ya, ya professionalism, mambo ya, ya clinical uh, na, na kadhalika. Lakini sasa mchango wa CRDB hapa naona kwamba itakuwa vizuri sana sasa kama tutaanza package ambayo inaweza vijana kuweza kujiunga pamoja kuweza kuanzisha clinics either kwenye mitaa au au vijijini au zile sehemu ambazo zina 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 uhitaji mkubwa zaidi na jambo lingine ambalo naangalia unajua ni niwaambie tu rafiki tu na wengine sisi sisi wataalamu wa afya wengi ambao tume tumesoma labda miaka nyuma kidogo kiukweli elimu ya fedha au elimu ya wekezaji hatuna mkubwa sana lakini pia nafikiri ni mabanki sasa wanatakiwa tusaidie pia kuweza kuleta hii elimu kwetu ili tuweze kuona kwamba uwekezaji uh, katika afya au katika sehemu nyingine uh, sio jambo gumu kwa sababu wengi wetu tunaona kama ni jambo gumu sana kwa mfano nenda nika nikakope hela CRDB ina inatupa ugumu kwa kiasi fulani kwa hiyo pia tunatakiwa CRDB iweze kuinvest kwenye kwenye kutoa elimu kuweza kuelimisha watumishi wa sekta ya afya au au watu katika sekta hapo waweze kuona kwamba waweza kutumia opportunities zilizopo na kuweza kubadilisha hiyo mentality kwa sababu tunaamini kabisa hiyo mentality kibadilika basi itatusaidia hata kuweza kuwekeza vizuri zaidi lakini pia kumwangalia pia hizo hizo rates hizo rates ambazo ambazo zinakatwa kwa sababu wajua kuna vijana wengi ambao hawana collaterals kwa mfano wanabotaka kuwekeza hawana collateral lakini pia ni ni ni, ni bank sasa ije na innovation au innovative way ya kuweza kuangalia namna gani wanawasaidia wa startups kwa sababu hawana hawana uzoefu kwenye ajira hawana hawana uh, collaterals lakini wana wana elimu yao ambao wanaweza kuiwekeza kwa kuangalia namna gani ambao bank iwekeze kwenye elimu yao walionayo hata kama ni startups lakini kuangalia mekanizi mzuri ambayo inaweza kuwasaidia waka, waka waka move on kwa sababu unaweza kuta labda una daktari, mfamasia, mtu wa laboratory au mtu wa, wa, wa radiology wakajiunga pamoja wakatengeneza clinic yao wakafanya na na benki ikawalea sisi kama 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 nilivyosema mwanzo kama wanataaluma tuko tayari kuendelea kuwasaidia vijana na uh, jambo lingine ambalo nafikiri hata kwenye mkutano wetu na mheshimiwa rais yule ambao tulifanya tarehe 20 mwezi wa pili katika maadhimisho ya siku ya madaktari Tanzania Tuli, tulizungumza sana na tuweza kueleza vizuri sana kuhusu uh, dhana ya medical tourism kwa sababu tuli, si tumefanya study tour tukaenda India tulienda pia na China tukajiuliza ndio kwa, kwa nini kwa nini watu wanatoka Ulaya wanaenda kutibiwa uh, India na kwa nini watu wanataka kwetu kwenda kwenda kutibiwa India ni kitu gani ambacho India wamefanya which is so special lakini tuligundua tuli kwamba kuna uwekezaji mkubwa sana ambao walifanya kwenye kwenye human capital kama tulivyofanya sasa hivi tuna tunawatumishi wengi tuna madaktari ambao ni wabobezi tuna wana elimu nzuri na wapo wa kutosha kwa hiyo ni ni, ni, ni financial institutions kuweza sasa kuja pamoja na na, na kuweza kusaidia hizi juhudi ili tuweze Tanzania iweze kuwa medical hub kwa sababu nchi ambazo zimetuzunguka nchi ambazo zimetuzunguka zina zina nyingi hazina huduma kama tunazotoa hapa sisi lakini hata kama wanazo gharama zao zimekuwa juu kidogo zimekuwa juu kulinganisha na hapa kwetu kwa hiyo kwa hiyo nafikiri ni, ni opportunity hiyo pia kwamba tuweze ku attract hizi nchi za jirani uh, ziweze kuja kujoin na sisi lakini pia tuweze kuwekeza vizuri kwa hiyo kwa hiyo nafikiri CRDB kwa, kwa mfano mnaweza mkaanza na watu wachache kwa kuweza kuangalia specialities ambazo zimeendelea vizuri ukawekeza ikawa kama mfano tukajiunga pia kuweza kuwaita wenzetu hapa wakaja wakapata huruma kwa sababu hamna haja mtu kwenda India au kwenda China uh, kutoka labda Kenya kutoka Burundi kutoka Komoro wakati huduma inapatikana hapa nchini kwetu na na kwa taarifa tu na hadi hadi sasa hivi tunaendelea kupokea wagonjwa kutoka kwenye hizo nchi wanakuja kwa hiyo kwa mfano kutafuta huduma kama za figo huduma za moyo huduma za za mifupa na kadhalika kwa nafikiri mimi naona kama hapa mabenki yetu lakini pamoja na ikiwemo CRDB a uh, bank mtatusaidia sana uh, uh, kama kama tukija na innovation ya kuwezekeza kwenye haya mambo mawili na nashukuru sana kwa kwa nafasi kama kuna maswali nita respond Thank you.
Na kwa sababu ya ameunmute ame ameunmute speaker yake kwa sikiti. Ongeza volume ya mahani. Okay. Naomba uongeze sauti. Okay. Um, huku tunafikia mawingu kidogo meanwhile kama utaturuhusu uh, niweze kuwapa panels baadhi ya maswali ambayo tumepokea wakati technical team wanashirikia kuweza kutusikia tunakuona vizuri lakini hatutusikii na tungependa tukusikie um, karibu sana nafikiri kuna issue ya mic wengine mnanisikia vizuri okay kwa hiyo nafikiri ni Mike ya uh, ndugu Bernard naomba waweze kumsaidia kwa hiyo nita tunapata maswali mengi uh, through online kwa hiyo panel nitawasomea baadhi ya maswali ili muendelee kujipanga tutakapofika mwishoni muweze ku, kugawana na nani atafanya nini nani atajibu kitu gani au nani ata attend issue gani swali lingine linaloletwa lina kwetu na git habit camp Does the bank offer loans to public hospitals? Okay. Um so lingine linalofuata ni do you fund development of medical innovation? Kama naenda haraka mtaniambia. La kwanza ilikuwa from Git have a camp. It's a German name. Does the bank offer loans to public hospitals? Uh, swali linalotoka kwa la Luca Pauna linauliza do you fund development of medical innovation Swali linalotoka kwa Baksha ni ref, ni la Luca Pauna Anauliza do you yes. fund development of medical innovation? Baktisha ana maswali marefu kidogo. Naenda taratibu. Anauliza what are the plans what are the plans to improve programs for? One disease prevention through health lifestyle campaigns hiyo ya kwanza what are the plans to include programs for disease prevention through health style and campaigns number two, alleviating stigma against mental health and promoting mental well-being as a critical component of health okay alleviating stigma against mental health and promoting mental well-being as a critical component of health. Kuna maswali mengine yanakuja hapa the medical team mlioko hapa mengine yanahusu mtatusaidia wakati wa kujibu nafikiri tutanyosha ule mkono 
alafu mtakusaidia kujibu kwa sababu watu wametuma yote mengine ni directly anaenda kwenye uh, medical uh, industry uh, Sako Merrick anasema in a presentation by the MD it was ad adduced that 144 health facilities obtain loans from CRDB banks leading to improved service provision does it include the public health sector what kind of legal arrangement is in place in terms of loan security do we have an umbrella arrangement with the government <coughs> i'm repeating this again in a presentation by the md it was adduced that 144 health facilities obtain loans from CRDB banks leading to improved service provision does it include public sector what kind of legal arrangement is in place in terms of loan security do we have an umbrella arrangement with the government wakati anamalizia hilo naomba nijue kama kaka Bernard yuko tayari kutujoin IT team Okay IT team wako quiet kwa hiyo naomba niwaletee swali jingine kwenye panel Uh, ili linatoka kwa anonymous anasema benki ina mpango gani wa kutumia mtandao wake mkubwa kutumika kama platform ya kufikisha bima za afya kwa wananchi ambao bado wengi hawajafikiwa na bima ya afya kuna wadau kama Britam Insurance Jubilee Insurance AAR Strategies Insurance NHIF ambao wanamhitaji CRDB insurance broker to reach Tanzanians Naomba nirudie tena. This is from Anonymous. Benki ina mpango gani wa kutumia mtandao wake mkubwa kutumika kama platform ya kufikisha bima za afya kwa wananchi ambao bado wengi hawajafikiwa na bima za afya? Kuna wadau kama Britam Insurance, Jubilee Insurance, AAR Strategies Insurance. NHIF ambao wanamhitaji CRDB insurance broker to reach Tanzanians. Number IT tujue kama kaka Bernard anaweza kupatikana. Kaka Bernard ni mdau mkubwa tutamhitaji kwa ajili ya kuweza kushiriki. Kaka Bernard unatusikia? Kaka Bernard unatusikia? Karibu sana pandemic forum wanakusubiri karibu mno No kaka Bernard naomba usogee kwenye mic na mic yako naiona imekuwa muted Angalia kuna alama pembeni na mic pembeni ya kompyuta yako naona imekuwa mtete ndio maana hatukusikii ndio maana naomba pembeni ya kompyuta yake kuna alama ya mic imekuwa mute sasa hivi uko on hebu jaribu kuongea hello hello Yes. Wame mute tena. Wame Naomba uendelee. Karibu. Karibu. Na naomba usogee karibu na mic.
kumpata Mr. Bernard Komba wakati watu wetu wa IT wanaendelea kuifanyia kazi Naomba nikaribishe panel kwa kwanza kutoa uh, majibu ya maswali ambayo tumeanza uh, karibu sana panel naomba tena niendelee kukungusha kwamba bado mgeni wetu rasmi yuko pamoja na sisi yuko Dodoma lakini anafuatilia kila kitu kinachoendelea yuko live na mwishoni atakuja uh, kuongea machache na kutufungia forum yetu uh, so panelists karibuni sana Asante sana um, Tunashukuru sana kwanza kwa tumshukuru zaidi sana Dr Helen kwa mchango mzuri ambao umetupa na mawazo mazuri ya kuweza kujenga jinsi gani tuweza kuboresha sekta ili tuweze kufanya vizuri lakini vile vile mchango wa mawazo ambao umeutoa kwenye jinsi gani tuweza kuangalia jinsi ya kuboresha sekta na kwenye community support na hii inatokana na comment ambayo nimefanya mwanzoni kwamba as a bank tuna believe kwenye partnership so we believe kienda kufanya kazi pamoja tutawafikia wengi sana. Lakini mshukuru sana Dr. Osati kwa mawazo mazuri ambayo umetupa kama mchango wa mawazo ambao sisi tutaufanyia kazi kwa karibu sana. Lakini na Dr. Ogiro mchango mzuri wa mawazo ambayo umetupa. Sasa maswali yamekuja kutoka kwa wadau na tutakuwa tunayajibu moja baada nyingine kushirikiana na panelist ambako ta make sure kwamba wote mnapata majibu mazuri nitajibu kwanza swali la kwanza ambalo linahusiana na CSCI na when the bank has CSCI CSCR ya labda niseme kitu moja kwamba there is CSCR and CSCI and i believe in partnership as a bank we have at, every year tunatenga 1% of our net profit on the CSCI perspective and we have so many engaging partners about to find our cards why what i can assure you and that's why we have this kind of forum it create more partners in developing the sector of health through our CSCI we should be able to support uh, all initiatives and the ideas ambazo tunakuwa nazo lakini there was also a question ambayo imetoka kwa 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 Mr. Najib moja bangi hapo ta wenzangu watajibu wengine ameongea whether plan to include the preventives and i can say moja 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 njaribu Dr. Helen amesema pale kwamba katika ushirikiano some of these initiatives in partnership in through a partnership we should be able to support uh, where possible provide facilities that prevent na tumekuwa tunashirikiana vizuri chama cha madaktari and what i can say kwamba initiative ambayo tumezifanya throughout the year cause one of the priority kwenye CSR yetu health of course second education lakini we put much support on those area which we believe it prevent or it has supported in a prevention mechanism na tumeona jitihada nyingi ambazo wanafanya serikali labda na mheshimiwa ataliongelea mwishoni wakati anafunga mada lakini swali nyingine ambayo nataka nijibu kutoka kwa Mr. Sako ambako amesema 144 hospitals this hospital 144 has been integrated in terms of ecosystem payment uh, apart from funding it has been integrated in ecosystem payments and that means they are now doing seamless payment and seamless collections and the majority of these hospitals are public hospitals that means we have increased efficiency when you cash collections but also efficient in terms of payment has also improved now patients how they pay normally there, there has been also improvement at the same time the government has been able to collect more and that means the cash cushions has improved compared with the previous year before integrations 
However, we do support as well funding some of these hospitals. Some are private, some are public. For private, for private hospitals, it's a normal process of the applicants to make sure that all the request requirements are fulfilled, but also the normal documentations are captured. For the public perspective, all the governance are followed by engaging the key stakeholders, meaning the ministry responsible and get the relevant authorities to proceed. And that's the process which is always applicable in the processes. And now I will invite my colleague, uh, Mr. Prosper, our director of corporate to respond on the challenge of 60 days delays on invoice payment and how CRDB can be able to support. Yes, Prosper. NHIF payment is between 60 days and they can do exceed. How will the CRDB intervene in this one? Then from Mr. Abdullah Dada Pia Meuliza Aksema, can, can I know if CRDB will pay providers before the health insurance pays us? Kwa kifupi, kama alifongia MD katika product zetu, kwenye short term loans, kuna kitu tunasema supporting working capital for clients. Hii ni facility ambayo ukidia banki, uitaji kuwa na physical security, kama mortgage na vitu vingine. Tunachaitaji hapo ni confirmation for payment. Kwa hiyo tutakachuangalia sisi kama CRDB ni kwamba during those 60 days, wata kwa unasubiri, malipo, lakini at the same time, you need to meet your day-to-day -day operations. Zambazo zimeshikiliwa, and you can't wait mpaka 60 days for you to meet those uh, payments. Kwa hiyo tunachuachifanya paya ni kuwa na kitu kama tripartite, ambapo NHIF or any other service provider uh, ensure ata confirm kwa benki, tutakuenda kukonfirm zile invoices zako ambazo mizirezi, and then this immediate to that to advance funding a boy na find some sort of agreement na wewe kwa muda ule ambao unasubiri zile payments na once your payment is secure due zitapita kwetu tunachukua ile amount ambayo tulikuwa advance na unaendelea kufanya uh, biashara yako bila bila kukwama so e product ipo na pia to see to sichukulia tu kwamba kuna vikwazo njoo tutadili na case by case basis tutakuangalia wewe kama client tutaangalia historia yako tutakwenda kukonfirm na provider provider confirm payment is tapita kwetu na wewe una account kwetu tutafanya hiyo type of type arrangement ambayo haita kurequire wewe kuja bank ukiwa na physical securities kwa hiyo i can confirm to comfortably kwamba mtu yote au medical uh, uh, facility yote ambayo iko kwenye operations na inakuwa kwenye hiyo type of situation inasubiri payments karibu sana CRDB and then tunaweza tuka tukakusaidia na kama kuna information zaidi ukihitaji Please send your email through afia at crdbbank.com then to the respond accordingly. Sababu, mida unaweza usia mrefu kurespond kila kitu kwa sasa hivi. Na shukuru kwa hivi. Thank you. And the other question was talking about the, do we support startup? And um, how best CRDB is positioned to support startup? Basically, we do support startup. And maybe for this case of uh, health sector, that's why we have this forum. AFIA Forum, because we believe that, and I have said it before in my presentations, we always look on the project perspective, the potential of the project, and how this project will support the community, and what will be the payback period of the community. But with this particular forum, I believe we have the key stakeholders who should be working with us to initiate support on those medical professionals about an IGNET startup project, for example, EFATA. And I spoke about uh, issue of your collateral. It's not about being even a startup. We have small dispensaries, a buzzle, based on requirement, they will need the working capital and they may not have security. But with the current arrangement we have in place for micro lending, we should be able to support them. At the same time, we have partners about Rafanyao Kaz. I spoke about our partner being, for example, the USAID Shop Plus. They all support us. We have so many other partners 
ambao wana provide guarantees in the cause of doing so by assessing the project we should be able to support startup so kwenye forum hii na nimesema kwamba after this forum we should be able to sit together with those representative ambazo ni vyama tukae pamoja kuangalia what solutions fit for and what financing should be required by doing so tutaweza ku support sana startup kubwa na nimenipenda sana kwa mawazo ya dr saka ambako alisema kwamba kuna very professional graduates ambao wanamaliza shule wazuri sana not necessarily get employed you can still employ yourself because you are professionals and that's where we'll be able to say we have a good idea and how bank can support you but there was also a question in regard to i think this one came from uh, it came from raluka paona where you wanted to know where the bank support medical innovations and what i can assure you because we believe in innovations and creativity and one of our uh, function is about digital innovation and accelerations so that means when you look on the health sector we will be moving from traditional health services to the digital framework so any innovations is welcome at CLB. and through our csci we obviously support those kind of idea and we'll be happy to to continue exploring the opportunities and the possibilities of what are the potential opportunities for that particular idea coming through on individual persons but there was another question which came from uh, just want to get it right anonymous who spoke about how the bank is prepared to make sure that insurance is accessible throughout the country using our network and we have our director of retail banking who manage the entire distribution network through agents branches and how best we can be able to support and how are we prepared bomarabara we respond that question asante sana um ndi na nakushukuru sana mgeni rasmi kwa kuendelea kuwa na sisi katika kijiji chote um ningependa kuchukua nafasi hii kuweza kuwa kutoa tu assurance kwa wadau wote ambao tuko nao kwenye kongamano hili kwamba benki ya CRDB kupitia uh, kampuni yake ya CRDB uh, insurance broker uh, na matawi yetu yote ambayo ni zaidi ya 240 uh, yapo kwenye nafasi kubwa ya kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba tuna uwezo wa kutoa huduma stahili na kuhakikisha kwamba partners wetu wote ambao tuna include NHIF tuna include strategies AAR jubilee uh, na wadau wengine kama wote bima zao zinaweza zikapatikana nchi nzima tumesema sisi kama CRDB bank tumejipanga vizuri na tunapenda kuchukua nafasi hii kuhakikishia wadau wetu wote na umma kwa ujumla uh, kwamba utakapotembelea tawi letu lolote lile uh, loko Tanzania ambao ni zaidi ya 240 uh, unapata uhakika wa kuweza kupata uh, huduma ya insurance na huduma hii pengine haitakuwa limited tu kwenye upande wa health sector aina yoyote ya bima uh, una uwezo wa kufanikiwa kuipata kupitia matawi yetu kwa hiyo labda tu ningependa kuchukua nafasi hii kuwasihi wote uh, kama wadau kuweza kufika pasipo na shaka kwenye matawi yetu ili tuweze kupata huduma hizi za uh, insurance ambazo za upande wa medical Uh, lakini pia tumeongelea huduma za fidelity na huduma nyingine zote ambazo zina include uh, uh, zina include fire burglary uh, na mengine kama hayo kwa hiyo hayo ndio kwa sasa naweza nikawahakikishia kupitia kwenye matawi yetu asante sana maybe i think you uh, the, the, the other questions if i have captured well is from gt i think gt highlighted about that the bank offer facilities to public hospital the answer is yes because not only public hospital i think we deal with all government related institutions in different sectors hospital being one but what i can assure you uh, the facility arrangement follow the full governance in line with the authorities directives and provisions so that's how we have been working together to support the sector and the bank is well positioned continue supporting uh our sector uh, and that was probably the, the last questions if i've captured well from the members thank you uh 
Um, thank you so much, our CEO. Thank you, the panel, um, for uh, responding to the questions. Um, I do understand the time is not on our side. We are yet to get uh, Mr. Komba. Um, before I invite our CEO uh, to say uh, a vote of thanks and maybe um, invite our guest of honor for closing remarks, I have received a request from Mr. Kane Mbaya, uh, the CEO of Strategies, who wishes to say a word. And I thought we should uh, accommodate him because we couldn't get Mr. Komba. So if you could bring Mr. Ken online, please. Uh, thank you so much uh, for having me uh, today. Yeah, they are and, connecting uh, Mr. Ken. Thank you so much. Yes, Um, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, Ken. Yes, we can hear you. Thank you so much for this opportunity, and uh, I'm so happy uh, that Sierra DB has given us this initiative uh, to discuss uh, this very important topic. You know, when others are burying their heads in the sand, you are if we counted to show leadership uh, in, in these times. So I really appreciate. Uh, this particular uh, webinar. Um, just for me, a few points that I wanted to uh, acknowledge and recognize in terms of the initiatives you, are, you have taken. Uh, for us from the um, uh, fi financial services uh, point of view and when it comes to health financing, there are only three things to, that we consider very much is cost, uh, access, uh, and, uh, and the quality. And I think the area that we are uh, uh, discussing today covers, to some extent, some of these areas. So I'm quite um, uh, supportive of your idea on supporting pharmaceutical uh, um, development, because I think when it comes to costs of health services in our country, uh, a lot of it goes into uh, uh, drugs. And so your initiative there is commendable on invoice uh, discounting, uh, strategies insurance has got full support for you. Uh, we are willing to partner and work with you to make sure that this is successful because it will help a lot in terms of cash flow for the health services, uh, health service providers. Um, and I also, uh, I, I saw one of the slides you, you mentioned your investment into health centers. And one of the areas that I really am concerned about and maybe you have already began to address is the area of small health centers because I think these small health centers and they're also up country required to upgrade their services. But once they upgrade uh, their services, I think it will also help us to have uh, quality uh, services being given to our people. And I think that that, that is crucial because for us, if you look at the COVID-19 uh, experience so far, there are two areas that have been of concern. It's education and, uh, and uh, promotion and pre prevention. And I think uh, my brother Takela also mentioned that, look, in your CSR, you're also putting in some investment into, into these areas and we commend you uh, for that. Um, thank you very much. Those are the only comments I wanted to make in the interest of time. Thank, thank you so much, Mr. Mbaya. Now we have uh, Mr. Komba online. If you, we can connect Mr. Komba, please. Um, um, Bernard Komba is the managing director of NHS, Ugenzi Mkuu wa Mfuko wa Bima wa Taifa. Sasa hivi anaweza kujiunga na sisi. Karibu sana, Dugu Komba. Asante sana. Natumani mnanisikia. Nizuri mno. Niombe radhi kwanza kwa matatizo ya kimtandao, lakini naamini tutakwenda vizuri na tutumia muda mfupi tu. Ya kwanza ni wapongeza sana CRDB, MD kwa forum hii nzuri ambao tunashare kuzumza mambo ambayo yanahusu ya sekta ya afya nchini. Kwa kweli tunahitaji kuunganisha jitihada zetu wote ama sekta binafsi na sekta ya umma sababu mwisho wa siku tunamwangalia mtanzania huyu huyu ambaye anahitaji kupata huduma bora na mwisho wa siku aweze kujenga ya taifa lake kuelekea uchumi wa uchumi wa kati kama ambavyo serikali inataka inataka nchi hii 
kikubwa nimeona mmezungumzia hapo mkurugenzi mkuu swala so, lazima la changamoto zilizopo kwenye sekta ya afya na nikupongeza kwamba changamoto zilizopo umezigeuza sasa kuwa ni fursa ni kweli bado utoaji wa huduma za afya kazi kubwa sana imefanyika lakini bado tuna nafasi ya kukomplement uweza kwenda mbali zaidi ambako tunataka bado tunazo changamoto chache kwenye maeneo ya mbinu kwa nimeona kwenye stadium hapo na mpango wa kuanza kutoa mikopo kwa ajili ya kuboresha maeneo ya mbinu upatikanaji wa dawa kwa kweli ni maeneo ambayo ni ya muhimu sana tunapozungumzia six building blocks ya health system tunaongelea masuala ya infrastructure ambayo ndio mbinu mbinu umegusia tunaongelea baadhi ya upatikanaji wa dawa ya masuala ya human resource yametajwa na baadhi hapo masuala ya data na masuala mengineyo kwa hiyo na jukumu kubwa sana la kuelekea eh, kuelekea huko sisi kama mfuko wa taifa bima afya tayari tupo kwenye hivyo eneo lazima ni declare sababu sio siri tunatoa mikopo kwenye vituo na tunaona changamoto zinazoambatana na hiyo lakini mafanikio makubwa <coughs> ambayo watu huduma wanapata kutokana na mikopo ambayo eh, tunaitoa kubwa na msingi tunalojifunza ni swala la collateral. Unaona umezungumza hapo kuhusu collateral ni eneo zuri la kutifikiria sababu tunahofia tusije tukatoa mkopo alafu kesho tukapelekea kituo kuzima kabisa kutoa mkopo. Lakini natokea pale ambapo umetoa mkopo mfano. Tunasema collateral ni jengo la hospitali. Kwa huduma zikiboreka za prevention watu hawataenda wengi hospitali. Ndio wakati huo huyu mtu wa huduma atalipa kutumia nini. Ndio mwisho anaanza kujistretch, mwisho anaweza kunyang'anya na jengo na huduma zisiendelee. Kwa nini toa ushauri kwa benki mtakapenda kujenga hilo? Kuangalia sana kwenye eneo la collateral. Hivi vituo kwa kiasi kikubwa vinahitaji soft loans ambazo ziende kubusti eneo fulani, they attract more services, alafu they attract more people to join, kuja kutumia hizo huduma, wazidi kupata mapato, wazidi kuendelea. Natoa mfano, ukitoa leo Uh, mkopo kwenye eneo kama la X-ray lina lina return haraka sababu huduma akishafunga leo kesho watu watajoin kwa kisha join wengi ungeje kupata huduma anapata mapato anaweza ku service mkopo kuliko hii mikopo mikubwa ambayo tunahitaji kuiangalia kwa kina eh, kwa kina zaidi lakini ulie tena kusema kwa kuongeza sababu sisi tunasema huduma zikiimarika miundo mbinu ikiwa mizuri ina maana watu wengi watavutiwa na huduma na sisi kama taasisi za bima iwe ni ya serikali kama NHIF sio ni binafsi kama wenzetu ya RARA strategies watu wengi sasa watavutiwa kuingia kwenye prepayment eh, mechanism kwa maana sasa watachangia wataji enroll wengi ili sasa wakapate huduma zilizo bora kwenye vituo na ndio tutashiriki kwa pamoja kwenye kutimiza azma ya swala tunaita universal health coverage ambayo tunataka Watanzania wengi wawe na ubora wa maisha ubora wa huduma wazipate ili waweze kushiriki vizuri kwenye shughuli zao za afya kwa hiyo niseme kifupi ni hayo lakini kuna mmoja alimezungumza kwa kuhusu delays kwamba tunachelewesha kutoa madai niseme tu ni kweli hilo swala lipo lakini sheria yetu imetutaka twende hivyo lakini sisi sasa hivi tunakwenda siku ya 45 kikubwa ni kushirikiana na mtoa huduma alete mapema na sisi tulipe mapema tunakwenda mbali zaidi sasa hivi kuanzia tarehe moja mwezi wa saba tunaanza na swala zima za online claim submission mtoa huduma ataweza kusubmit claim zake online trace process online within 10 days from the end of the month can be able kuweza kulipa yale madai. Kwa hizo ni interventions ambazo tunazifanya katika kuweza kutatua hili. Lakini kama CRDB tutakuwa na mawazo bora zaidi ya kuweza kushughulika na hili. Nawakaribisha tushaanza mazungumzo kipindi fulani yakaishia njiani lakini naamini tunaweza tukashirikiana sababu lengo letu mwisho wa siku sisi kama wanunuzi wa huduma basi tuone vitu hivi kimarika huduma zikiwa bora. Wana chama wetu wakipata huduma bora sisi kwetu ni bora zaidi. Tumezungumza swala deductions sasa hili ndo na link na ile mikopo. Swala mkipa kituo mkopo. Sasa amefika mahali eh wagonjwa hawajaonekana wengi kituoni. Tunakuwa na fixtures claim. Anajitahidi sasa apate fedha nyingi kutoka kwa insurance sio wote wachache msema. Apate fedha nyingi kutoka kwa insurance ili aweze kuservice mkopo. Kwa na uli pale pale unapotoa mikopo lazima tuangalie hizo collateral usifike mwisho tuka dismantle kituo tukaribu sasa ile kituo ambacho tutataka kiboreshe huduma tukajikuta tumerudi nyuma. Kwa hiyo sisi tunakutana nazo na hizo deductions zinatokana sana na vitu kama hizo fixtures claims ambazo tunapambana nazo kuendelea kuelimisha wale wa huduma ambao wanaelekea huko basi tuendelee vizuri. Lakini otherwise nilivyo tena kusema kuwapongeza sana CRDB kwa hili ambalo mmelifikiria 
Naamini litachangia kwa kiasi kikubwa katika kuboresha sekta yetu ya afya. Na sisi kama mkuu wa taifa bima afya kwa kweli tuko tayari muda wote kuendelea mazungumzo pamoja na wenzetu wa sekta private. Kwa mwisho wa siku lengo ni kumsaidia mtanzania, lengo ni kuwezesha serikali yetu kutimiza yale ambayo imeahidi kwa wanachama wananchi katika kuimarisha na kuhakikisha kwamba wanakuwa na afya bora na wanaweza kushiriki katika shughuli zao za kujenga uchumi wa nchi yao na kupatia kipato katika ngazi ya familia na ngazi ya jamii. Kwa hiyo kwa shukuru, wapongeza samani maibia muda kwa kuchelewa na mtandao lakini ni matatizo ya mtandao. Naamini siku nyingine tutajipanga vizuri zaidi. Shukuru sana. Asante sana Asante sana uh, Mr. Bernard Ponga uh, the, the forum tumefurahi sana kuweza kutusikia kuna maswali mengi ambayo yameletwa kwa ajili ya NHIF tutahakikisha kwamba tunafikisha kwenu ili muweze kuattend na pia tuweze kuwa ya wanachama um, with the permission of um, our guest of honor um, we have attended to a number of questions which came online but i can see we have participants who have raised their hands um, I think maybe we can also attend to a few of them. And before we attend to them, I wish to note um, the presence of a team from U U USAD who are also with us in this forum and they are participating. Karibuni Tani. Let's see how many you can attend. <coughs> While they are uh, connecting the participants online who have raised their hand, I wish to welcome our CEO. Uh, maybe he, he has a note from um, the comments we get from Mr. Ken Bayer and from um, Mr. Bernard Konga. Karibu MD. Asante sana. Nianze kumshukuru sana kakangu Bernard Konga for a very good input kwa maana ya kwanza kwa ushiriki wako na sisi tulikuwa na hamu sana ya kusikia mambo yako lakini kwa ushauri mzuri ambao umetupa you have given us a very good advice and i think what i have said before ni kwamba as a bank we are committed to support uh, the sector of course what i can assure you is that it must be a collaborative effort ambao tutashirikiana kwa karibu na wadau wa sekta afya kwa ajili ya kuwawezesha wale ambao wana uhitaji lakini vile kufanya proper assessment na umeongelea kitu kizuri kwamba mikopo isije ikawa ki nzito ikachukua mwisho kitu cha cha afya ku na nadhani nimeongea mwanzoni kwamba we are not looking about security kuna hii soft loan ambazo zimetokea kama x-ray ambulance ni soft loans lakini ni mahitaji makubwa sana kwa hiyo tunaendelea kushirikiana kwenye how best we can proceed lakini kitu kingine ambacho umekisema ama nimefurahi sana umesema kwamba maongezi yalishaanza yalikuwa hayajafika mwisho and with this forum i believe eh, i think we should be able to close it as soon as possible na after this meeting tutaendea kutafuta ili tuweze kufanyia kazi nikiongea na Mr Kane Mbaya ambaye ni wastajes tunashukuru sana kwamba uh, you are ready to participate to, to collaborate on the invoice but also you mentioned the key issue about cost accessibility and quality when you speak about three pillars ambao you have just mentioned and there is no way you can not be if you are not being supported financially i don't think the cost will be cheap it will be very expensive because getting services from a center to another center is the cost efficient is a bit kilometer kada is all the cost now we can get pesa lakini gharama kuipata makubwa lakini with expansion of facilities we should be able to see much cost going down when we support the sector to get local produced medications we see much cost going down again the same thing capability of our, of our citizens itaongezeka zaidi na accessibility ni maana kwamba the serikali imemshauri rais alfaim kazi kubwa sana he has done a significant job kwenye health sector in terms of creating so many uh, medical centers kujenga Ostari, Kujenga, Zanati, almost everywhere, almost everywhere. That is already the closest services to the community. 
now it will come the issue of availability of other facilities kama madawa na nini kwa hiyo lakini at the same time how do we enable those centers to offer better quality services and with the support of partnership we should be able to to manage that na kufanya pamoja na na imani kwamba tukienda kufanya pamoja in terms of design perspective on the design principles we must be able to come forward with the better solutions because it is designed from the user perspective not from the thinking of others rather than from the user perspective and that's our slogan in terms of customer uh, service command and the banks that listen because we design our principles from customer perspective and we should be able to achieve the intended goal but i'll be happy to work with all the communities and ensure that we achieve that na washukuru sana na naona kidogo wenzetu wako tayari kwa hiyo tuwasikize tuweze kuendelea na thank you so much md thank you for covering us there um as i noted earlier we have uh, some participants who have raised their hands um and i'll mention them and then uh, so that they can get prepared and uh tell who we start we have four of them who are ready right now the first one is dr mafele uh followed by elizabeth mgaya and then we have onesmo msaga and uh zahiha lorila uh we start with uh dr mafele dr mafele sir welcome welcome Dr. Mafele is going to be uh, the first one to start. Um, he'll be followed by Elizabeth Mgaya, Onesmo Msaga, Zahiha Lolila. I now welcome Dr. Mafele. Um, while Dr. Mafele uh, while is Dr. preparing, uh, let's see if we can get Elizabeth Mgaya. Hello. Um, Elizabeth, can I request um, the participants to raise their hand if when they I call their name, if they can unmute the speakers, please. So Elizabeth Mgaya kindly unmute your speaker so that it could be heard on this end. Okay, while uh, Elizabeth is preparing, let's see if we can get Onesmo Msaga. And Dr. Mafere, if you are ready, you can just um, come in and then we can give you an opportunity. Hello. 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 Is that Hello. Dr. Mafele? Yes. 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 Karibu Dr. Mafele. Asante sana. Mimi nilikuwa nina swali. Oh, Ambalo na hisi litakusanya uh, sehemu tatu kwa watu ambao wanaanzisha hizi clinics au uh, hospitali the big challenge ni kwamba wanakuwa hawana collaterals ambapo ukiangalia ni kwa kiasi kubwa kila anayekupa pesa yake kwa namna moja au nyingine lazima ajihakikishie kwamba itarudi vipi ambao kimsingi ni collaterals na mtu yote anayeanza ni kitu kigumu kidogo. Sasa kuna link ambayo iko hapo kati ya collateral ambao CRDB wakija wana nao wanahitaji collateral. Lakini kama tumemsikia mkurugenzi wa NHIF Mr. Konga na anasema ana wasiwasi kuhusu collateral kwa sababu akikupa naye lazima ajihakishie sasa mimi nilikuwa nina maoni kwamba kuna bank insurance na mtoa huduma 
ambaye kwa kipindi hichi tunao tukamweka yeye ndio kulati wanatakiwa sasa atoe uhakika ye sasa kuna kuna uwezekano serikali yetu ikakaa kwenye hizi njia tatu sasa kati ya insurance uh, collaterals ambaye ndo mtoa huduma na bank kwamba serikali ikae kati yetu hapo ili iweze kuona watu wanaomaliza shule kama aliposema rais wa March wawe na uwezo sasa wa kuweza kwenda na kuanzisha provided serikali itaona kuna uwezo wa kuweza kuhimili na kuweza kurudisha uh, pesa ambayo tumepewa kama collateral so kombi langu lilikuwa je yes, serikali nayo sasa si waziri ataweza kurespond vipi iweze kusimama between these three ways kati ya bank insurance na collateral ili iweze kuhakikishia kwamba na sisi tunaweza kuanzisha na to come with more innovative idea kwa sababu uh, rais wa mati anasema kuhusu hub hub haiji tu kwa sababu madaktari wengi watakuepo madaktari wa bobezi hub itakuepo kwa sababu people will come with innovations innovation ndio ambayo zita attract watu kuja kama now we are using zoom zoom was not there miezi michache iliyopita lakini now it's there so innovative idea ndio zitafanya hii hub na vingine vyoze kufanyika so can the government also switch in between these three lines so that we can have na uwezo wa kuweza kuhimilia sana sana asante sana dr matelo nikiomba ni wa invite wengine alafu mwishoni ni mkaribishe mheshimiwa naibu waziri kabla ya kukaribisha panel elizabeth mgaya elizabeth mgaya atakuwa Sha mheshimiwa mgeni wetu rasmi kutoa majibu ya dr Mafele alafu other Onesmo Msaga Hello yoyote ata Zahiha Lulila Hello Tunakusikia karibu eh, mimi naitwa Kwa kifupi ningependa kutoa shukrani shukrani zangu za dhati kwa CRDB kwa maana wameamua kuangalia sehemu kubwa ambayo inagusa maisha ya ya kwetu sisi wa Tanzania kila siku. Ila kwa bahati nzuri nilichotaka kukizungumzia mwanzo wakati nimenyanyua mkono naona kimeshazungumziwa. Kwa hivyo nisingependa kurudia rudia tena. Mimi nawashukuru sana CRDB kwa kuleta hii e Asante sana. Asante sana kakao Onesmo Msaga karibu tumempata okay karibu tunaomba uongee karibu ndugu za hiha lolila tunakuona online karibu Um, nafikiri tunapata matatizo kidogo atakapokuja kuwa online tutamwatend naomba kwa ufanya lazima ni tuombe mkurugenzi mtendaji wa benki ya CRDB au 
kuwakaribisha wakimbizi wake mtu kama kile ilikuwa limerekodiwa kwake baada ya hapo Mungu aendelee ile sehemu yake um, ya kutoa majibu ambayo yameulizwa na Dr. Mateo karibu mkurugenzi mtendaji As, uh, asante sana lakini namshukuru sana Dr. Mafele vile vile kwa mchango wa swali lakini na pongezi na ushauri na kama ulivyosema kwamba bank insurance for na providers kwa kushirikiana wamegusia serikali na nadhani mheshimiwa naibu waziri atakigusia atakapokuja kupongea lakini chukue fursa hii vile vile ku kushukuru sana Onesimo kwa chango mwazo na kwa appreciations na ni vivyo nashukuru wale ambao wote wameonyesha mikono wakiwa wanajaribu kutaka kushirikiana nasi kwenye kuongea e, katika mchango wao wa mawazo Mshamgeni rasmi nashukuru tena kwa mara nyingine kwa uwepo wako na kwa jinsi ulivyojitoa kushirikiana nasi kwenye hii forum lakini a very good speech ambao umetupa na ushauri how best we can improve the sector in the process of working together uh, private public and financial institutions on how we can address the challenge facing the industry i also want to thanks mwakilishi uh, wa brigade general dr gabriel muhindize and victory for a good summary you shared na kutuweza kutupa input lakini kupongeze kwa sababu umesema barakoa karibu inaanza kuwa produced uh, through MSD that was good lakini ni, ni mshukuru sana dr Elisha Osati uh, kwa mchango wa mawazo na na, na dr Ogiro pamoja na dr Helen wote kwa mawazo ambayo ameyatoa lakini vivile ni mshukuru sana sana eh, kaka yangu Kane mbaya na yeye ambaye ameweza kutupa mawazo mazuri ambayo nataka tuyafanyie kazi na participant kwa ujumla Mshamgeni rasmi kuna swali limeongezwa hapa na niomba nikukaribishe kama unaweza kuchangia ambao limetoka kwa Dr. Mafele ambaye ameongelea swala moja kuhusiana na startup wale ambao wanataka kuanzisha na changamoto wanazopata especially kwenye funding proposition when it comes collateral pamoja na kwamba tuna provision mbalimbali na kuepo na uwezekano mbalimbali wa kufanya ili waweze kuwezeshwa nataka kujua how best the government upande wa wizara unaweza kulisemea vipi hilo kabla kwa nikukaribishe mheshimiwa na naibu na, na waziri usaidie kuelezea kidogo na kuchangia mawazo kulingana na mawazo mbalimbali ambayo yametolewa na wadau yapi ambayo naona ni bora tuyachukue ili kutusaidia kujenga hii na kuimprove from yetu na majaribio na baadaye mbata kwa nayo karibu sana mheshimiwa waziri asante sana asante sana mkurugenzi kwanza ni <coughs> kushukuru sana kwa sababu eh, ili swala ambalo leo tumelifanya ni swala ambalo limetusumbua sisi wengine tukifikiria kwa nini watu wasifikirie hivyo toka mwaka 2011 na, na ndio maana eh, ukisikia na kuambia ni hata ilifika mahali na wenzangu mwaka 2014 tukaenda Kenya kuona namna banking system zinazo zinavyo support 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 health system lakini Mero kuja na package nzuri ambayo ni nzuri sana kwa kwangu mimi sina kubwa la kuongeza kama 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 kama, kama naibu waziri lakini eh, mimi na waziri hatuna mengi ya kuongeza ni kwamba ni jambo jema tunaweza tukasema ni jambo jema ambalo tunatakiwa tuungane pamoja na tusipokuwa makini eh, tukiachia sana kwenye mdaalo na kwa nature yetu wa Tanzania tutabaki kuongea sana badala ya kuanza kazi kwa hiyo mimi ninachofikiri eh, hapo tuna vichwa nimemuona Osati nimeona nimependa sana jinsi ambavyo ambavyo mama yetu Ellen wa Mkapa 
ame amechangia na content kubwa lakini tunayo eh, eh, NHIF tunayo OECD tunayo mimi nafikiri ni wakati mwafaka pamoja na wewe mkurugenzi kazi ikaanza kwa maana ya kwamba wizara ya afya kwa maana ya serikali na NSRDB na vichwa vile muhimu ambavyo vinaweza kusaidia kutoa mwelekeo tukakutana kwa maana ya kwenda kwenye practical sasa kuanza ili jambo mimi eh, ameuliza mwenzetu kwenye startup business tunasaidia mimi ni sema ni wakati ni changamoto kwa sisi kwa, kwa healthy personnel kwamba tuanze sasa tuanze ili kuweza kuithibitishia banking system na taasisi zote za fedha kwamba sehemu ya ya afya eneo hili la afya na huduma za afya ni sehemu salama mno katika ni sehemu salama mno katika e, 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 taasisi za fedha kuwekeza ni sehemu salama mno katika taasisi za fedha kuwekeza na waamini lakini wajue kwamba e, wataalamu wa afya wenyewe tu kama wataalamu wa afya ni, ni investment kubwa yani tunaweza tukao tunatizama e, zizi majengo au mzunguko wa pesa lakini yule mtaalamu tu profesa wa upasuaji wa, wa, wa mishipa ya madongo profesa wa upasuaji wa moyo yeye tu mwenyewe ni, 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 ni investment kubwa eh, ni investment kubwa kwa hiyo jinsi ambavyo tutaanza tutapenda pole pole benki zitajifunza sisi wenyewe tutawathibitishia wataona mambo mengine yatakuwa maraisi ma sana. Kwa hiyo ni changamoto kikubwa tuanze. Lakini nilikuwa na shauri si RDB imeanzisha hiyo lakini kuna nchi nyingi ambazo zilikuwa zina zina support startup kwa maana niliwahi kwenda nikao nauliza beki moja kwenye nchi fulani wakawa nasema wao wana ukishapeleka hati ya kiwanja ambayo unataka kujenga hospitali ukapeleka mpango wako na business plan wakiangalia moja kwa moja wana fund hiyo startup plan wana wana, wana fund kila kitu hospitali inaanza na kwa sababu si RDB mnazo hizi banking system ambazo mna, mna, mna kutoka siku ya kwanza mnaweka pale mashine yenu kwa hiyo makusanyo ya kwanza kila kitu inaenda na kwa sababu mnampokesha mtu mpaka na biashara mpaka nani kwa hiyo ile biashara mnasimamia toka mwezo mnaiona inakuwa inakuwa na kila kitu na mnakuwa mnaenda nayo kwa hiyo kuna maeneo wanafanya hivyo kuna nchi zinafanya hivyo kwa hiyo mimi nafikiri ni swala kwetu linalotusumbua ni mentality kwa sisi hatu ya fikiri sana kibiashara hatu ya fikiri kwa namna ile kwa hiyo mimi nachofikiri <coughs> Sasa LCRDB imekuja na wazo kubwa sana na imekuja kwa wakati mwafaka. Sisi tusianze kuangalia magumu kwa maswali ni muhimu kuuliza. Lakini wakati tunajiuliza maswali ambayo yanatusaidia tuwe makini kwenye kwenda na kujifunza kwa wenzetu ambao muda mrefu walianza hii program ili makosa waliyoyafanya au matatizo waliyokutana nayo tuweze kuyakwepa sisi wakati huo huo wakati huo huo tuanze tuendeni kwa sababu mimi sina wasiwasi kabisa kwamba hili ni wazo baya kuna changamoto zake wakati wa kuanza lakini kuna umakini unaotakiwa wakati wa kuanza tuendeni tukaanze lakini kuna mwenzetu kutoka Ujerumani eh, there are somebody from you say from Germany who was asking about if the bank can support innovation eh, innovation eh, but what i'm thinking if we have national insurance company that has a lot of money or have a comprehensive wealth insurance it means that the government the disbursement of the money from the government to the health system will be reduced very much so government will concentrate on innovation on issues like innovation and other things so that i think because if you, the, the the government you, you, i mean this program will boost the uh, private sector if it will boost the private sector it means that most of it will not be paid by the government so the money that are going to the salaries and the other things will go to the research and innovation and these issues of mental and the mental stigma and the other things mimi nacho manisha kwamba kama kweli tutaenda kwenye comprehensive health insurance tukawa na bima ya afya inayofanya vizuri na kukawa na mifumo mizuri 
kwenye bima ya afya ambayo sasa mwana kijiji wa kawaida ana bima yake kila mtu ana bima yake maana yake malipo yote kwenye swala la kulipia huduma za afya sio swala la mtu kutoa kesho mkomo kwenye mfuko wake maana yake kuna kuwepo na uhakika anayetibu ya either private au government pesa ambazo amezitumia kumtibu mgonjwa kurudi kama kutakuwepo na mlaio maana yake fedha ambazo serikali itakuwa inapeleka kwenye dawa na kwenye investment zingine zitapungua sana maana yake ni nini kwamba sasa tukisema tunaenda kweli kuingiza fedha kwenye research ambazo zitatusaidia kugundua equipment kugundua tekniki mpya za kuweza kutibu pesa hizo zinaweza zikaenda upande huo lakini maana yake ukiwa na 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 na, 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 na bima ya afya inayofanya vizuri na ambayo ina, inaenda vizuri ikiwa nayo maana yake hata private sector zita boost maana yake E, e, watu wengi watawekeza kwenye afya manake wataajiriwa wa madaktari wengi sana kwenye kwenye private sector na hata madaktari wakimaliza shule kama ambavyo anasema dr Usati na Usati mimi nafikiri tuahitaji kuonana e, una brain nyingi ambazo zinaweza kutusaidia sisi kama serikali ili tuweze kukubaliana na kuimprove kila siku tunapokwenda kwa hiyo madaktari wanapokaa pamoja wakawa kundi wakaamua kutengeneza umoja wanaweza wakaanzisha hospitali CRDB wakawa fund wa kufuata taratibu fulani fulani maana yake serikali inakuwa watu wanapata ajira lakini ishara yao na mambo mengine hayatoki tena serikali maana yake serikali itaendelea kubaki na pesa serikali itaelekeza pesa nyingi kwenye kuzuia watu wasiugue kwa maana ya kwenda kwenye kinga zaidi lakini serikali itaelekeza nguvu kwenye hizi mambo ya utafiti ugunduzi na vitu vingine na serikali ina, ina na, na hata big investment leo inawezekana CRDB badala ya serikali kuweka CT scan vijamini mkapa ina maana e, bima e, CRDB ya ubima wanaoweka lakini badala ya serikali kutafuta hela kwenye kodi ya kulipa ya kulipa ya kulipa ya kulipa huo mkopo wa CRDB bio kwa CT scan madaktari watatibiwa na bima itawalipia wagonjwa na kutoka kwenye hiyo bima ambao wagonjwa wametibiwa CT scan itadikwa maana yake serikali itakuwa haifanyi kazi ya kufanyia hivi maana serikali hizo nani hizi zitakuwa zinadhibitiwa kwa mfumo wa mzunguko lakini hili kwa upande wa serikali na kingine inahitaji uadilifu kwa sababu eh, swali langu kwa watu wa MSD jumuzeni kuswali leo mnaanzisha kiwanda tumeanzisha kiwanda cha cha kutengeneza barakoa yes lakini tujue tu kunahitaji competition in the market kwa hiyo wakati tujijenge kiakili kwamba sio tu swala la kuwa na kiwanda lakini can we compete lakini ya pili jumuzeni swali inakuwaje kuna dawa haiko MSD kuna dawa ambayo haiko MSD lakini mtanzania wa kawaida hata hajui Uganda hata hajui Kenya nazo lakini sisi MSD wenye network nzima kabisa huko dawa hiyo haiko kwenye stock ya MSD can you compete manake ili ulipe mkopo wa bendi ulipe nini ni lazima uwe tayari kukompete hayo ni maswala sisi kama wizara e, kama MSD na sisi wa ili tuweze ku support hii program nzuri ile ya CRDB ni sisi kwanza tujitizame are we ready to compete tutengeneze NHIF nzuri na MSD iwe vizuri vitu vyetu viwe vizuri na sisi wenyewe tufanye kazi vizuri kiongozi anaangalia jana mkurugenzi wa bima amenitumia 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 jinsi anavyo disperse pesa kwenye eh, kwenye hospitali zetu za serikali lakini hospitali private ukiangalia asilimia kubwa ya hospitali katika nchi hizi za serikali lakini ni asilimia ndogo sana ya hospitali za private lakini ukiangalia ujinageuka inapokuwa kulipa hela za bima unaweza kukuta inaweza kukuta unaweza kukuta unaweza kukuta pesa nyingi za bima zinakuwa baadhi ya sehemu zinaenda zaidi kwenye hospitali za private na za serikali. Kitafuta sababu maana unakuta tu wateja wengi za bima wanapenda kwenda private kuliko kwenye huduma za serikali. Sasa maana yake nini? Maana yake nini? Inawezekana sababu ni namna kwenye hospitali za serikali tunavyohudumia wateja. Maana yake kama kwenye hospitali ya serikali umechukua mkopo wa CRDB na, na sasa uwezi kukompete kwenye market utafika pale ambapo wenzetu wale kwa wasi wasi kama tutafunga hospitali tunatakiwa tuanze sisi kwa competitive wengine wamesema tunahitaji health authority 
na uko uko wengi wamefanya vizuri kwa sababu serikali zao na taasisi zao zimeingiza pesa nyingi kwenye health yes kupata funding ni jambo moja lakini sisi kuwa competent kuweza kuleta watu waweza ya wakati waamini kikubwa ni ile seriousness seriousness ya madaktari wa huko issue tu sio kwamba wana equipment nzuri wana science nzuri hapana wana science nzuri kwenye maeneo hayo wana brain nzuri wamezitengeneza wana equipment nzuri lakini wana watu wenye uadilifu mkubwa wa kuchapa kazi ilo ilo ni la msingi sana kama tunataka kufika pale ambako tunatakiwa kufika kwa hiyo kikubwa tumekutana sisi ni vichu ambavyo tunasaidiwa kwa sababu tunaposongeza tuna private sector tuna tuna tuna, tuna, tuna public sector lakini zote ni jamhuri ya muungano wa Tanzania zote ziko chini ya wizara ya afya tukiunganisha hivi vichu vyote tutafikia processa nzuri ambazo tutahamasishana madaktari manesi na watu wote watu huduma afya pamoja na na, na, na banking system wote tuadapti customer care ambazo tunaziona kwenye benki zetu kwa nini kwenye benki zetu kwa nini kwenye benki zetu watu wanahudumiwa vizuri ikifika kwenye afya watu wapate smile hiyo ambayo wanapata kwenye benki mimi nafikiri kuna uhayo yote tukiwa kusanya hakuna kitu ambacho kitashindikana mimi naiona positivity lakini nitanie kidogo kuna rafiki yangu wa NHIF watu wamesema kwamba inachelewa miezi miwili kufanyika malipo ni lazima tujiulize kwa nini na chelo inawezekana kuna genuine reason ambayo sasa tunaenda kudiskus hayo sio kusema sana kwa sababu tunahitaji kujifunza ili tutokuje na strategy lakini nimtanie kwamba hata wakati tunajiunga hapa kulikuwa na mtu amemuti ile ile mike maana yake sije nikao nayo kuna hili swala na wakati tuna tunataka kujifunza basi ile online kuna mute ya kwa hiyo hiyo tuanze kuwa smart kwa sababu tunaenda kwenye online tunaenda kwenye online tunaenda tu, leo tunaenda ili NHIF iwe nzuri lazima tuungane tutumie hii mifumo ya online kama ndivyo kama ndivyo ni vizuri tukawa smart katika kila eneo sasa hivi ni wakati wa kufanyia mazoezi bonge zetu lakini anatupa changamoto kubwa sana rais wetu kama rais wetu ana uwezo wa kukaa mwenyewe na kaja na majibu tukitumia mfano wa covid na mambo mengine majibu ambayo dunia imeyataka kwa sasa na akawa competent na akaifanya Tanzania maarufu kote na umo watu wakisikia rais wa Tanzania leo anaongea watu wote duniani wanatamani kutoka wakati wa Nyerere wakati akiwepo Nyerere ilikuwa Nyerere akisema Afrika yote inasikiliza leo tumempata rais ambaye akisema hata nilikuwa naambiwa na mtu mmoja Nyerere wakati huko wa mkutano mmoja wa mataifa ilikuwa watu wanaenda kantini lakini kisikika rais wa Tanzania anaongea maana yake Nyerere watu wanaacha machai kantini na wanarudi na mkutano kusikiliza Nyerere anasema nini leo rais John Pombe Magufuli ametupeleka kwenye eneo ambalo duniani huko akisemekana rais wa Tanzania anamkubia watu wanaacha chai zao makantini wanasikiliza na wanawako bize ku translate kwa lugha zao alichosema rais John Pombe Magufuli sisi madaktari ametupa changamoto yani amegundua yani amegundua vitu kwenye maabara amegundua vitu vingine ambavyo sisi kumbe sio tu kwamba alitafuta tatizo lakini ali, alikuwa anatuonyesha kwamba we need to think out of the box ni changamoto kwa sisi wa Tanzania wote kama we have the president who is very smart we need also to be very smart kwa sababu yeye kama mtu mmoja anaweza akawa smart tukasikika lakini sisi tuka kuzia speed yake kwa sisi kutoka kufikiri kwa kasi yake ukiwa na gari linalotembea speed mia mbili alafu nyuma kuna magari yanayofuata ambayo yanaungana kwenye chai moja yanayotembea kwa speed ishirini matokeo yake zile speed mia mbili za gari la pele zinapungua sisi let be smart na kushukuru mkurugenzi wa CRDB it seemed you are started very nice you are smart 
yani we have to join the skills of sati in the skills of to nhif yuko vizuri sana na skills of msd yuko vizuri sana ime skills of dadao pele wa benjamin sapa yuko vizuri sana ni skills of mtu wa 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 tasisi binafsi ni mfrai sana he knows hiyo tasnia anajua tuna tulitoka wapi tunaelekea wapi tukikutana kwa pamoja practically sio kwa maneno tukikutana kwa pamoja practically sio kwa maneno na tusiruhusu Tanzania kwa behavior yetu tunaongea sana kuliko kutenda kwa hiyo tusiruhusu mjadala mwingi twendeni turuhusu mjadala wakati tunaendelea kwenye kazi twendeni tukaanze kazi mkurugenzi na kuelewa sana kuliko maneno anavyoweza ku express twendeni kwa sababu tukiboresha NHIF tukiboresha MC tukiboresha mifumo yetu tukaja kwenye comprehensive wealth insurance ambayo na mheshimiwa umi mwalimu na vyombo vingine vimekuwa vikifanyia kazi sana vizuri na nimekuwa kwenye kazi kubwa inayofanywa chini ya umi mwalimu kuhusu kuleta comprehensive health insurance tukimtumia umi mwalimu tukimtumia mimi tukinikitu sisi tukiwatumia nyie tukishirikiana tena kwa pamoja tutamsaidia rais kwa sababu lengo lake ni Tanzania yenye afya ni Tanzania yenye afya na ili tuweze kukompete kwenye tuweze kwenye uchumi wa dunia ni tukiweka vizuri watu wenye afya na nikisumbulia afya sio kuponda kansa malaria na vitu vingine ni hasa afya ya akili uwezo wa wa udungu wa watu wetu tutakompete vizuri na tutaileta heshima nchi yetu inawezekana mbinguni hakuna moto lakini moto wenyewe uliwepo ni kwamba ukifa unaenda kukaa mbinguni unaona watoto umewazaa wakiwa wanateseka inawezekana moto wanaopata wenzetu walio ambao hawajatupeleka wanaona jinsi ambavyo nchi zingine ziko juu kuliko sisi wanaumia ndio moto wenyewe unakuta sisi tuliko sasa twendeni tukaitengeneza Tanzania kesho ambayo hata kama tutakuwa mbinguni tukiangalia we are proud of tunakuwa proud ya vizazi tunaoiacha kwenye taifa letu tunakuwa proud ya taifa letu tunaliona nikikompete na nikiwa sehemu ya dunia yenye kufikiri kugenzi na kuelewa sana twende tukaanze kazi hivi vichwa vilivyokuwa hapa dr Usati wengine ambao wako chini ya wizara ya afya tunawaomba tuungane tufanye kazi kwa pamoja tunaye waziri ambayo anasikiliza sana mimi ni sijawahi kukutana na na ni waziri yule ni mshirikishaji sana anasikiliza mpaka hizi anasikiliza watu wote ni mshirikishaji sana ni waziri wetu tukushirikiana na tukatumia fursa ya rais anayeona sana tutaenda kasi kubwa sana CRDB nimefurahi kwamba mko Burundi natamani wasikie mko Kenya natamani wasikie mko Marekani natamani wasikie mko Uingereza natamani tuhiti dunia na tukisimama tujulikane tuko kwenye platform ya dunia asante sana asante sana asante sana asante mno mheshimiwa dr Godwin Alois uh, Mole Limbunge uh, kwa mawaidha na guidance uliotoa kwa benki ya CRDB pia kwa wadau wa huduma ya afya umetuambia neno moja kuu ambalo nimelichukua leo twendeni tukaanze kazi naona watu kwenye mitandao wamechangamka wanachangia wanataka kuendelea lakini mheshimiwa amesema haya tuliyofanya leo yanatosha sasa ni muda wa kwenda kuanza kazi tutaendelea kupokea feedback zenu na tutaendelea watu timu ya social media itaendelea kuwa, kuwa pamoja nanyi tunajua hiki ni kitu kikubwa ni very innovative we are, sisi wote tuko very 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 excited kwa hiyo tuendelee kuendelea kutoa feedback lakini twende tukaanze kazi kwa haya machache naomba nimkaribishe mkurugenzi mtendaji ili aweze kutoa neno la shukrani na tuweze kufunga washa yetu kwa leo karibu sana mkurugenzi mtendaji asante sana nianze kipekee kwanza kumshukuru sana Mheshimiwa Naibu Waziri wa Afya Andrea Jamii sio watoto na wazee Mheshimiwa Dr. Godwin Alois Moles na mbunge kwanza kukubali kuweza kushirikia nasi siku ya leo kwa kutenga muda wako wote ambao umekuja kwanza nasi lakini umemaliza nasi lakini kushukuru vile vile kwa hutuba nzuri ambao umetupa 
yenye weledi mkubwa lakini ya kutufungua macho sisi sekta ya fedha ni jinsi gani tashirikiana na sekta ya afya kuboresha huduma na kuweza kuikuza sekta ya afya lakini kipekee nitoe shukrani zangu ambazo naomba utufikishie kwa mheshimiwa waziri na kumi mwalimu kwa ushiriki na usapota ambao ameenda kutupa kama benki ya CDB tunajua majukumu yake ni mengi lakini kwa upendo wake nimeshirikiana wote kuwepo na yeye najua atapata salamu zetu utufikishie na tutakuwa tayari kushirikiana naye lakini kipekee nichukue fursa hii kwa shukuru sana nimshukuru sana 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 Dr. Samuel Ogilo kwanza kwa ushiriki lakini kwa ukaribu wa kufanya kazi na sisi na utayari wa kuweza kushirikiana ili kuweza kufanya jambo hili iende vizuri sana na mshukuru sana sana kaangu Bernard Konga kwa mchango wa mawazo na kwa tayari wa kufanya kazi na sisi na mimi nikwaahidi kwamba benki ya CDB iko tayari kabisa kufanya kazi na wewe lakini mimi nimshukuru sana mwakilishi obligeria general dr Gabriel Mahiza mkurenzi mkuu wa USD dada yangu Victoria kwa mchango mzuri na kwa ushiriki wako nishukuru sana sana dr Elisha Osati ni mdau mkubwa ambao tunashirikiana sana lakini tumepata mchango mzuri wa mawazo na benki yetu ya CDB iko tayari kuendeleza mjadala huu kwa kushirikiana na chama cha madaktari pamoja na chama cha wakuu wa taasisi za tiba binafsi ili tuweze kuja na suluhishi la sekta namshukuru sana dada Helen na kama ulivyosema how best can we work together kwenye CSI and I, I, I believe you are progressing well I think the idea you have brought today it also give us energy to think even beyond I believe tutaenda kushirikiana ili tuweze kufikia malengo na mshukuru sana sana Ken Mbaya mgenzi wa strategist kwa mawazo mazuri na utayari wa kushirikiana nasi lakini mshukuru sana mkugenzi wa sisi Berati Brenda Msangi hapa kuongea lakini tulikuwa naye tunamshukuru sana niwashukuru sana sana viongozi wa taasisi ambazo wameweza kushiriki kwenye warsha hii niwashukuru sana sana wateja wetu na wale ambao si wateja lakini wanajua kwa ufu, kwa kupitia forum hii tutakuwa watakuwa wateja wetu maana benki yetu iko tayari kushika nao lakini i also need to thanks our partners global partners usaid uh, shop plus for also being present but also for supporting us and working together i think we have heard about the challenge of the sector from the uh, the stakeholders who are on the ground and you can hear in terms of how much can we support them and the challenge they are facing in accessing funding but i believe together we should be able to come forward with some innovative idea thank you for ifc who have been also to part, well to part, participated uh, gcf i uh, also thank african guarantee fund they have also participated and our fsdt members they have also participated tunawashukuru sana 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 our commitment and the reason why we had this forum is to share the value we see on this sector and how best as a bank we are positioned to support the sector but i think the comment made from other members participants in terms of challenges these challenges are there which for us becomes an opportunity because challenges is always been transformed into opportunity if the purpose of both parties as one the issue of security and the other alternative way of funding we have all the solution available what we need to have is a discussions of the nature of the project and how best can it be funded and then what are you looking for from our, our professionals crdb we have a good profession team who should be able to give a better idea on how best you can venture in that perspective we do believe that this forum is a beginning of our journey in supporting the sector and i also call upon our partner global partners that from this discussion we should be able now to sit together to think beyond norms on what how best can we streamline the current processes the current offerings and offer the best lakini mshukuru waziri amesisitiza kwamba 
Yes, the forum has been fantastic. We have received quite significant inputs from members and you have received quite innovative ideas, how best we can move forward. But that is part of innovation ideas. If those ideas won't be put in practice, it just ends it in the paper. Wazira Mitshawiri to end when you move, when you find your and that's the move of executions. What we can commit as CRB, we are committed to move fast as much as we can to accelerate this initiative and ensure that we achieve the result and meet and be able to, to support the industry from a community level up to the public level and the private level, but also the issue of ensuring the insurance services in Afikiwa, Tanzania, Wengi. That's the agenda we need also to drive with our insurance company, working together with the insurance providers, come and HIF, strategists, and other members, Eyara and Wengine, we believe what Tanzania Wengi will always kupata insurance. Lakini, kitu kikubwa ambacho unadhani tutazakao tukifanyia kazi ambacho sisi ndo motive yetu ni to make sure these services are affordable and accessible. Lakini education of how to access it, where to get it is key. And through a partnership, we should be able to achieve that. Otherwise, in our school, sana sana participant, kushimua wazi na kushukuru sana kwa mda wako, tunakushukuru na tenda kushikia na wewe. As a bank, we are committed kuwa karibu na serikali na kuendea kwa mba tunafanya pamoja. Na tunaendea kushukuru wizara ya afya kwa kazi kubwa amba mefanya na nende kwa pongeza wewe na watendaji wa wizara, waziri, wa afya, waziri mkuu, kushimua raisi, kwa jinsi mlivu sinamia diangazima la COVID-19 na kutuweza kutu, tunawana tunavuka salama na maana ndunandea kujikinga kuta kutekeleza miongozo ambayo tunatupa. Na niseme tu kwa wadao wenzetu ambao mashiriki, ni kuendea kuyajari yari mapendekezo na maerekezo tunawapewa na sarikari katika kujikinga na jaranga hili. Otherwise, na wasema benki yetu ni benki na yosikiriza na tungependa kudumia kila alia shiriki kwenye walusha hii. Tumetua ime ili makusudi ili wale ambao wameshiriki wa wakiwa mbali kipata kontakti zao na ukaribu wetu kushikia mtanda wetu tawaza kwa fikia kiraisi. Lakini na ahadi tunayo wapa ni kwa mba tumejipanga vizuri na tupo tayari kudumia karibu ni sana CRDB. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Asante ni sana. Um, asante sana. Thank you, thank you so much. As the CEO of CRDB Bank has said it, uh, this now called as the end of our um, forum. We thank you all for your participation. We are really, really very grateful. Asante ni sana, sana, sana. Tutumie hii nafasi. Hii innovation isipite bure. Tuweze kutumia. Fusa ndio hii. Karibuni Banki ya CRDB. Karibuni sana. Asante mno na unasikia siku njema. Have a good day.